Who's Dale's wife? Hello, everyone, and we are live, and we've also got Jamie's just joined as well. Oh, he's here. Yeah, he's here. Fucking hell. This makes the change. He's usually two and a half hours late. Well, here he is. Oh, he's here. Yeah, he's here. Fucking hell. This makes the change. He's usually Wait, two and a half hours. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I can hear everything. <laughs> he's rehearsing his Spider Man moves. Jamie, turn it off. Oh. But yeah, welcome to episode 22 of my Friday night live stream series. And as always, I've got five fantastic guests joining me tonight. And first up, we've got Josh from Red Ends, as always. Hello. And um, as always, we've got um, Nigel um, coming back again as well. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Yeah, again. And this gob Jake? And yes, and um no, I mean it, it, and his wife as well, not <laughs> And his wife. But, yes. and, I'm um, not I'm not married, Scott. Fucking hell. No. News to me. No. No, I don't think there's one here as well. No. And, He's um, fucked up already. <laughs> yeah. He's doing a Ryan. <laughs> Oh, and next up, we've got Jamie Batman Smith returning back again. Who keeps nipping off for a quick shag with Robin? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I'm on the pen. <laughs> Lace up, Robin Jr. Oh, he's got him at hand. I'm say Pingo. Since I'm Pingo, Red. Pingu! Oh, that little cunt. Oh, shit. Fucking <laughs> 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 oh, Next up, we have Pete Potendo Guy with his legendary lines. Even, everyone. Hope you're well. It and feels like... Uh, yeah. That little cunt. It feels like Wednesday night all over again, but Scott's in charge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well it's said. It's going to be a mad one. Better go for four o'clock tonight, though. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys. Thank you all um, so much for joining tonight. Really appreciate it, as always. You're so we welcome. We get uh, comments from that bloke and him and his wife. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I messed that up real bad, sorry. <laughs> It'll be here, yeah. <laughs> Um, before we get into the comments, um, everybody's links are in the description uh, box down below, so don't forget to check them all out because they all have amazing channels. Oh, thank you, sir. You are a gentleman. No worries. Cheers, Scott. Cheers my G. No worries. Thank, thank you, Scott. And also, we link to uh, Jamie's Instagram is also <laughs> in the description, so check him out on Instagram because he's an awesome guy as well. Cheers, Scott. No worries, Jamie. And um, before we get into the comments, what have we all been watching recently? Josh, you want to... Pete, hey, having a wank. Same as Wednesday. Oh, yes. Um, not a lot, really. Looking for Alaska. I've been to watch that. Swarm, I forgot to mention Swarm. On Amazon Prime, that was good. Um, fuck. Mm -hmm. I watched About Time yesterday. Oh, again. that. Yeah, then... About time. Shut up. I've seen it twice already. Uh, what do you mean about time? Um, what else is there? Um, fuck. You've seen it's, Fuck? Is it good? Yeah. Uh, Don't Look Up. Trash. John Wick 4. Wasn't a fan. Purple Hearts. He won't, yeah. Piece of shit. Dungeons and Dragons. Good. So, not a lot, really. No worries, Josh. Still some awesome stuff there, mate. And um, Nigel and Laura, what have you both been watching recently? I said all mine on Pete, but I can repeat them if I can remember them. There was um, uh, Martin, the vampire film. Mm -hmm. uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Speed. Three or four Hammer films, which I can't remember what they all were. But I'll show you what's arrived in the post. Oh, awesome. And? Nice. 
Ah. Awesome, awesome. Oh, good pick. Bit late. Though. With a slip, eight quid sealed. Ain't bad. Long lost George Romero film. I've heard that's good. I've got the American one, though, with the slip cover. Mm-hmm. And I finally got the first one. Oh, oh awesome. That's the American one, but that's the reverse art, honest. What have you been watching? What have I been watching? Fuck all. No, I watched Sleepy Hollow. What's that one you made me watch? Don't Take Sweets from a Stranger, which was very good. Then I watched this weird one on Amazon Prime. I kind of get into a rabbit hole where you end up at films you've never heard of. It had um, Zach Gallagher in out of Gremlins, and it was called Cupid, and it was about a brother and a sister who had like an incestuous relationship, and I was already kind of invested, so I watched it to the end, and it's an hour and a half. I'm never getting back. So what a different spin-off was it? I wouldn't recommend it. Thankfully, that will never happen with me. Have you seen my sister? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it was legal. Uh. Oh. And, uh, Jamie, what Shutting uh, I, I said it on Pete's stream, but I'll see it. Uh, I'll say it again because obviously it's a different stream. Uh, oh, shit. About, <laughs> about uh, I think it was uh, about a few weeks ago. Uh, I watched Korea yeah. for it, which was good, but it's it's the weakest of the Creed trilogy. Uh, I watched Shazam Fury of the God. Uh, it not amazing, but it's just fun and enjoyable. Uh, and then uh, John Wick 4 is really good. But I can, can, I can sort of understand why you didn't like it, Josh. What? Because I thought John Wick was like... I thought you woke him up now. Was, <laughs> I thought John Wick 4 might have been the new Mission Impossible Fallout, but it's not a Pac-Man Fallout. But it is really good, don't get me wrong. Uh, and then, obviously, I watched How to <laughs> Duck for but... the first time. Someone says, hello, Mrs. Nixon. What is Nigel looking at? Like? How and, dare uh, you compare a fucking Mission Impossible to John Wick? I was going to applaud you for something there as well. <laughs> you said Creed yeah, Trilogy, yeah, you didn't yeah, say yeah, fucking yeah, franchise! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like one of the best action films ever made. Mm. What a great mm. story. <laughs> oh, fuck Fucking that. Mission Impossible. <laughs> so, as I was saying, where was I? You've lost me. John Wick 4. John Wick 4. You were saying how, ma- how mint it was and how shit all the Mission Impossibles were. Hey, uh, yeah, uh, oh, I was the duck. Hey, uh, yeah. I watched I was the duck for the first time. Like, oh my week. god, and I thought it was amazing, and I think it's the best. It's better than the last few MCU films. It was that good. That's not much and competition, then, uh, though, Jamie. Is it? Let's be honest. It's not easy, no. And then last Necromantic night, was better than the MCU films. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never let this you fucking said. And then last Saturday, I watched the. Uh, I went round to my friend's house and we watched the Rocky versus Drago cut on 4K. Because obviously, I love Rocky Four, and I think it's probably the best Rocky film ever made. And cause I really wanted to see the director's cut, and it was like proper crisp and clear. He didn't really change words, but obviously, yeah. Uh, he uh, he took the robot out because Stallone mm. didn't like it apparently, and then they've just added a few bits and bobs in, in at the end and stuff. But yeah, it was proper crisp on 4K, and then he put it on on Prime to see what it looked like on streaming, and it was blurry. <laughs> it just yeah, it was just proper blurry. And that's it. oh, and last night I watched. Phantom Menace because I'm in the process of doing a complete Star Wars ranking and rewatch. Awesome. So quite Did you like Jar Jar? Yeah, Dad Dad doesn't bother me. 
<laughs> I think you might like him now, Jar Jar Binks. You look a bit like him. <laughs> Is he the big fat steaming piece of shit that looks like a hill? That's Jabba. <laughs> Best Jabba. That's Jabba. Oh, Jabba the slut. <laughs> 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 Oh, it's Wednesday night all over again. All oh, over. Oh, <laughs> well, thanks for joining, everyone. Good night. We hope you enjoyed the stream. <laughs> awesome stuff, Jamie. And what have you been watching recently, Pete? Uh, for me, I've watched, the, but I already said on the stream, I watched the In the Line of Fire or In the Line of Duty 3 and 4, the, the martial arts films. Really enjoyed them. One that I forgot to mention that I watched last week was X. I watched that on a rewatch and really enjoyed it on the second time round. I think it's even better. So I'm looking forward to picking up Pearl when it comes out. And last night I watched Eden Lake. Fucking hell, that's rough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's fucking, it's so brutal and upsetting, isn't it? The, the, the sad thing is, the kids are very similar to the kids around here. The attitude. That's what I said to you. You can it, you can see it happening. It's it's very realistic. That's why I think it's so awful. I know. And the ending, oh God! You've seen the it, fucking... Jamie? Yeah, I've got it. Oh. He got it out the other night, and I mean, and the film. <laughs> yeah, you did flash flash it off to us, didn't you, Jamie? And that's intrigued oh, me to watch it. Yeah. I should have used a better word there, but yeah, great film. And Michael Fassbender in it as well. Yeah, Magneto. No, Michael What's Fassbender. That? <laughs> <laughs> That's him in the X-Men. Yeah. Oh. Marvel again. It always comes back to fucking Marvel. Yeah, it does. Will I get my live stream? The first person who says Marvel or fucking Avatar is getting banned. <laughs> DC's I'll be on the better. stream on my own talking to me fucking self. I still need to watch Eden Lake, but I do want to. It's not the green cheeky gun. Awesome stuff, Pete and Dandy. What have you been watching recently? Uh, yeah, oh. I pretty much all of these this week. Fucking hell. Oh, oh. it out. There's Dean Throw, Debbie Does Dallas. <laughs> hmm? Edward yeah, Peter that's Alan. really Edward Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, big big shout out to Jason the Old Millennial because I watched The Mighty Wind. I fucking loved that movie. Um, Not over that one. So fun. Awesome. Um, Could have done you one of them for free. A Mighty Wind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I watched this one with Drew Barrymore and James Legros called Gun Crazy. Fucking awesome I've never movie. Heard of that. Oh, never heard of that. Um, I started watching this one uh, from Wes Craven, Deadly Friend. Love it. Um, mm. The the robot in it sounds like Jar Jar Binks on his fucking deathbed. But, yeah. <laughs> Can you watch it all? I've got about halfway through. Yeah. Do you not, are you not impressed? No, I, I quite like it. Yeah, yeah. Have I've you watched... got to the basketball bit yet? No, I've seen I've right. seen that bit though. I've seen that's that all I've seen. I've oh. seen it before, but I fucking yeah. love that film. Yeah, I watched this horror film called Witchboard. Um, this has. One of the best jump scares in it I've seen. Um, not as fun. not as good as Exorcist Three, but really, really cool eighties horror movie. Really enjoyed. I was going to say that's an eighties film. I've heard of it, but I've never seen yeah. it. Looks yeah, good. amazing. Hmm. Um, I watched this one with Patrick Swayze called "Along for the Ride." Really awesome movie hmm. from two thousand. Not not heard of that um, one. No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Trying to think what really cool western called Bad Girls. Really liked it with Drew Barrymore and um, I was going to say Bell. Drew Barrymore in that. Yeah, awesome again, I've heard of it, but I've not seen it. Um, oh, and I watched this sci-fi one as well with Tom Sizemore and Val Kilmer called Red Planet. Um, oh. really enjoyed it. Yeah, they're just some mm -hmm. of the stuff I've been watching. Some excellent mm. stuff there, Andy. Definitely some I'll be adding to my watch list. Mm. And first comment up, we've got Minahu. Sorry if I pronounced that. Min Minahu. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm hey. sorry. He says, um, also, Nige, Pete, Jamie, Scott, Andy, Mike and Josh. I've subscribed to you all amazing guys for a while now. Thank you Thank so you. much, mate. Really Thank you very much. much. And uh, 
going through um, comments earlier of, um, where we was on about the trial, so I'll uh, skip through those ones and go on to this mm. one. And um, we got um, Alex here. Hello, mate. Hey, mate. Hey, Ob. And we got um, Rodi here. Hello, mate. Saying um, John Wick 4 was perfect. Glad you enjoyed it, Rodi. Hello to you, too. It's a fantastic <laughs> film. Good to hear you enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, definitely. And we've got Matt saying, as it's WrestleMania weekend, I'm going to be laying in the SmackDown on these trolls tonight. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. Come on, Matt. Scorn. Go on, Matt. And we've got Mike saying, I'm here, guys. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate that. So, Winnie. Oh, he's here again. Oh, God. <laughs> here we go. Here he is. Hello. Hey, up. He's early tonight. Hello, mate. <laughs> And we got um, Harry Judy as well. Hello. Oh, hi. hi. Got your action star so me and my wife are entertaining tonight. Okay. Like you, know. you mean I swimming? Dread to... Yeah, and I was going to say. Well, you're all going to watch the stream. Oh, you'll fucking regret <laughs> that. God, fucking hell. What's Hello, you bunch like of cunts for watching. It's going to be like the end of society around their house. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's going to be like the scene in Rocket Man. Oh, okay, I was thinking of the, uh, the Audi in uh, Sausage Party. Oh. oh, thanks for that image in my head again, Jamie. Yeah. It's the Audi from Society, man. Fucking hell. Mm, that's what I, I was I don't even want to oh. know what any of that means. Yeah. No, there's a big, there's no. a big Audi called the Shunting. Oh, mm. fucking hell. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely don't want to be really weird, to be fair. Have a Wolf of Wall Street with the butler where she comes home and then... Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> and we've got Mike saying, going to be a great stream as always. Thank you, Mike. Yeah. Appreciate that. Can't wait. And we've got Matt um, saying, seeing as it's WrestleMania weekend, who was your favourite wrestler growing up? Mine was The Undertaker. Great choice, Matt. Um, the Undertaker was an absolute legend, for sure. Um... I would say mine's probably Ultimate Warrior. Always really loved him growing up when I was younger. Oh, great wrestler from the 80s there. Uh, what about you, Josh? Never really cared for wrestling. I did as a kid, but I never really watched it that much. Yeah, so I don't really, I don't really care. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I don't really have one. No worries, Josh. Uh, what about you, Nigel, Nora? Big Daddy in the 70s when I was a kid, but I grew up, in a sense. He wishes. Oh. I don't watch wrestling. No, On no, account no. that it's... Who was that? Jamie, wasn't it? I think he's back. I'm one proud one. of it. <laughs> And uh, Jamie, what about you? Who was your favourite wrestling uh, wrestler growing up? Uh, I don't really have one, but obviously I love the wrong. Uh, but uh, mm -hmm. when I was younger, I used to watch wrestling with my dad, and uh, I really remember. Is it is it the Sting with the uh, yeah. black and uh, white face paint? Yeah, I yeah. remember him. He was a cool wrestler as well. To be fair, awesome yeah, choices there, Jamie. And uh, what about you, Pete? Uh, for me, I used to like wrestling as a kid, but I can't really remember many of them. I know Stone Cold Steve Austin. I quite liked him and The Undertaker, so I'll say them too. Awesome choices. Some of my favourites there as well. Uh, what about you, Randy? Yeah, I, I sort of remember like The Undertaker and Kane and mm. Mankind and yeah, Sting. Uh, mm. Obviously Hulk Hogan as well. Stone Cold Steve mm. Austin. I don't like them. The type of guys in The Rock. Some absolute yeah. legends there, Randy. Great choices. Paul Corgan looks like he's got a smelly willy. Well, he might. It doesn't mean he's I not a good wrestler. Uh, and and cheesy, like a cheesy sack. Oh. <laughs> oh. And we've got Danny Duke saying, as I'm in the UK, could only see UK wrestling. It has to be Big Daddy. Awesome. Yeah. Don't be. Oh, Danny. And we got Mike saying, I'd say Sting for me. Especially when you sing a message in the bottle. Message in the bottle. Oh, 
We just need Wonderwall and then we see it. <laughs> oh, yes. Message in a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Have we got Matt saying that Stinky's legends, legendary? I uh, loved him back in the WCW days. Yeah, definitely. I loved him in the police, but I like his solo stuff as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Phil Tiffany's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely adore that song, Filter Gold. I but, do. Uh, yeah. yeah, great song. Yeah. And we got um, Mike saying, So glad I met the guy. Oh, wow. Who's cool. Sting? Yeah, I think he met Sting. Yeah. Awesome. And oh. we got Mike, uh, Mike saying, Favourite female wrestler? Me. <laughs> and. Um, I'd probably say Liv Morgan, to be fair. I really like um, watching her as a wrestler at the minute. I think she's a really great wrestler. What about you, Josh? Don't really know any, if I'm honest. Yeah, no, wrestling, no worries. Wrestling's not my thing. No, it's fine, no worries. Um, Nigel, you're uh, I echo Josh's very, very polite reply. <laughs> the only female wrestler <laughs> I know is China. She's Same. dead. That's a Same. Same. <laughs> What about you, Jamie? Uh, I don't really have one, but there's only one that there's only kind of one that comes to mind. Uh, it's uh, Florence Pugh fighting with my family. It's Paige, yeah. Paige, yeah. She's a real person. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. fuck. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched that movie twice and I still didn't fucking know it was a real person. You didn't know it was based on a real story. Don't they, don't they show like the real family at the end? Yeah, I didn't get to the end. Yeah, I didn't get to the credits. It's amazing. It's a good film. I enjoy it. Definitely. What about you, Pete? Uh, for me, I'd probably say Becky Lynch. That's one of them. She looks quite mm. nice. Though I don't really watch wrestling. I've just seen pictures of her on Facebook. You don't so pick you your, fa your favourite wrestler from all the fucking look, you filthy bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll take that flash, right? It's on their wrestling ability. God. I'm a gentleman. I do not say anything otherwise. <laughs> You're a cunt. I don't know about a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a few people call me that. So go on. <laughs> You're not the first one and you won't be the last. <laughs> I certainly won't be the last. <laughs> oh, ah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> You're very enthusiastic, you are. You are indeed. <laughs> and um, and did you say I'm um, China? Yeah, she's the only one I remember. Yeah, no worries. Got um, traction star yes. saying evening, no okay, one as well. Yeah, doing very good tonight. Evening. Thank you. Got Matt saying eight people watching and only four likes on a stream. Smash that like button. Thank you so much, Matt. You're a star. We got tracks and star so Mr. Oh. Do I do anything with a woman hood? Mm. Just the hood. And we got tracks and star saying it's got Friday night mayhem. Can't wait for this. <laughs> yeah, I think we kind of gather that from your comments. Yeah. <laughs> and we got uh, Matt saying favorite female female wrestler right now is Gigi Dolan. For obvious reasons, don't know who that is, to be honest. I bet she's got massive she... tits. You, is that yeah, because she squirts, Matt? Anyone know, uh, else know who it is? Or... No. No, I don't know what. Does don't she know, know who I Gigi... am? Then why the fuck should I care who she is? I don't know what a Gigi Dolan is. <laughs> no, I don't. We got Mike saying, I'm sure you would, Mr. Action Star. Mm. Uh, we got Steve here. Hello, mate. Hey. Hi, right, Steve. Oh, yeah. And we got Sam here. Hello, Sam. Saying hello to everyone. It's a fantastic stream and awesome weekend. Thank you, Sam. I hope you enjoy your stream, hey, mate. Oh, hey, up, Sam. Hey, he commented on my video today. Yeah, he's a great guy, Sam is. Yeah, Sam's got, um, very nice guy. Yeah, definitely. Got um, Matt saying with Morgan as well. She's <laughs> tasty. She's very good looking, to be fair. I know her sister, Fanny Morgan. She <laughs> plays the organ. And she plays the canny well. <laughs> oh. And we got Matt saying favourite WWE match of all time. Oh. Freddie versus Jason for me. 
good choice, fair enough. Um, <coughs> I, th- I don't know. There's so many matches I've watched in the past. It's hard to pick. What's all these wrestling questions? I, man, I have man, no man, idea. Batman versus Superman. Yeah. I knew Batman would come into it somehow. Oh, Batman, I'm sick of that. Stop smiling at yourself because you're very pleased with yourself. I haven't got a clue. He's fucking dancing now, giving it this. (laughs) 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 I'm going to go with Scorpion versus Octavio because more tall combat. Yay! Yes! (laughs) (laughs) Ah. He will suck me raw. And we've got Rogue Gear, hello mate, saying hello, watched um, Dungeons and Dragons today. It was um, surprisingly fun time, and I'm now, Nigel would um, fucking hate it though. Yes, I can't tell you how much I fucking suffered through the trailer when I went to see Scream 6. I see, I thought it looked good. Yeah, because you're a fucking <laughs> idiot. Thanks. <laughs> to be fair, the Dungeons and Dragons film, the new one, does look really good, and reviews see, it seem pretty good so far. And I reckon they'll mm. probably get a sequel in, I reckon. Yeah, probably. Of course it fucking it will. really good. Because you lot will go and see it. <laughs> I will go and see it, to be fair. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. I want to yeah. see it. I'll watch it on streaming. You have no fucking shames. I'm not going to say it to you. <laughs> <laughs> About anything. <laughs> well, it could be worse. I could buy it and leave it sealed for 20 years. You probably do that as fucking well when you're out of mode. <laughs> I bet he goes to the cinema, gets his ticket, walks in and closes his eyes so he'd have to watch it. Well, I've been to see it, but I haven't seen it. <laughs> Fingers in his ears. <laughs> yeah. Well, so- sometimes... <laughs> imagine sitting like that for an hour and a half. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Open his eyes and the the end end shout that goes on in the cinema, but you probably have to now. Yeah. yeah. And that's just the banging on the back row. Oh. Ah. Mm. Mm. (laughs) Um, Josh, you've seen it, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, it was a really fun time. I wouldn't say it's the best thing in the world, but I had a really, really good time of it. I liked it more than John Wick 4, kill me. But yeah, wow, I liked it a lot more than John Wick 4, actually. So, if you you like D&D, you're going to love it, but if you don't know what D&D is, you're going to want to play the game now because that film it just makes you want to explore the lore of it a little bit more. Unless you're me, because it didn't fucking work on me. <laughs> Did you miss me while I watched D&D? Yeah. Made me fucking hate it, more. Dungeons and fish clits. <laughs> Sounds like some true Star Wars play. Yes. What about you, Pete? Are you looking forward to watching it? Hello, please. Hey. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, oh, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me. Man. <laughs> <laughs> he was thinking oh, of Miss Taylor Joy again, wasn't he? Yeah. No, no, honestly, I thought you was asking Andy. Going, no. yeah, fuck off. <laughs> yes, Scott. Oh. Yeah, you um looking forward to watching it? Yeah, I'd definitely like to see Dungeons and Dragons. I said I'll probably watch it on streaming or get it when it comes out on Blu-ray. Looks like a fun film. It does. Awesome. And have you um watched it yet or planning on seeing it? Uh I might go see it on Monday. Yeah. Ooh. Awesome. Uh, we got uh, Mike saying can't wait to meet the Frog Brothers from Lost Boys and the Stars from Priest Academy this Sunday. Awesome oh, Police Academy, I fancy that. Mm, yeah, definitely. I wonder who's going. Oh, I think it was um, Lieutenant Harris might be going, I think, was one of them, and I'm not sure. I can't remember who the other one was. Have we got Steve saying 88 mm. films are releasing Zombie Holocaust on 4K um, in June? Will any of you buy it? Um, I'm not too sure. It's an okay film, but it's not fantastic. So, yeah, I'm not too sure. Maybe. Uh, what about you, Josh? Might as well skip me. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Nigel? I might do. Depends. 
depends how much it is. Because I know full well if I get that, I want the other ones to go with it. They're 88 and released so far. So we'll see. I'm not saying no, but it's possible I might get it. That means yes. <laughs> Awesome. What about you, Jamie? Uh, I don't have any 88 films. I don't no think worries. I've got any. No worries, Jamie. What about you, Pete? It's actually coming out there, not there. Yeah, nah. Nah, not for me. No. No worries. What about you, Andy? No, I might pass on that one. Yeah, that's fair enough. Got uh, Sam saying I watched Body Body Double today and thought it was great. One of my favourite crime so movies for sure. It sort of had a rem- reminiscence of Rear Window at times. Very good film. Glad you enjoyed it, Sam. It's an excellent film. One of my uh, favourites from the seventies, and it is a great Brian De Palma film. Really enjoy it. What about you, Josh? Never seen it. If I'm honest, I I didn't even know it was a thing. No worries, I... Josh. Yeah. Oh, not George. Have you seen it yet? No, but I've got it on its way. It's one of the ones I've ordered from the Indicator sale. Awesome. I can enjoy it. I thought I'd only ordered three, but when I look back through the order, I, I might have ordered more. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <Yeah>. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Your finger slipped on it the did. buy button. I could have sw- I sw- I'm going to use. I ordered that, and I can't remember the other way. When I looked, I went, fuck me, I don't remember all the whole way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oops, the dear thing. Yep. <laughs> and um, Laura, have you seen it before? No, but I'll probably watch it when it turns up. Awesome. I hope you Andy's got me pretty excited for it, I must admit, because he, he's raved about it. And it's not the fact I'm going to say I like Smile, because I actually do actually like um, what they call the fucking director, De Palma's films. I, I like what I've seen, so mm. I am actually really excited to watch that one. Awesome. What about you, Jamie? Uh, I've not seen it, no. No worries, Jamie. What about you, Pete? Got it, but I haven't <laughs> seen it yet. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I need it printed on a T-shirt. I heard they haven't seen it, but in the end, they fucking hell, man. Yeah, got it. Still sealed, but I haven't seen it. I need it fucking printed on a T-shirt. <laughs> yeah. No worries, Pete. Um, and Andy, it's um, one of your favourite Bond Department films as well, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. It's it's amazing. I watched it once. I absolutely loved it. Second time I watched it, I thought, yeah, it wasn't as good as the first time, but I still really enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. And I, I want to watch it for a third time because it's, uh, yeah, I just remember loving certain parts about it. Um, They play that. There's a bit in it where they play the, the Frankie Goes Hollywood song, Relax. It's yes, like, yeah. it's like a nightclub scene where that gets played in it, but yeah, I just I just love the movie. And yeah, anything anything with Dennis Franzen in as well, um, uh, I love because I love him in Blowout. Yeah, he's, just, he's great. He's great in body double. Yeah, <gasps> love that film. Yeah, Blowout's great, definitely. Got traction star saying, "Hey, stunning Scott, Fab, Josh, Bewitching, Rock God, Handsome Jamie, <laughs> Breathtaking Pete, and Hi Andy." <laughs> <laughs> He's, He's doing it again. Oh, hi. <laughs> he witching. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know whether that's a fucking compliment or not. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. I don't, I don't get any fucking adverbs, me. It's just <laughs> <laughs> the pronouns, whatever the fuck they are. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, count yourself as the lucky one, mate. Yeah. All right. You yeah. can be bewitching if you fucking want, whatever that means. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, I identify as bewitching. Yeah. And we got Dave here. Hello, mate. Hello, hey, Dave. Hey, I'm Dave. Hey, you big handsome cunt. <laughs> <laughs> and we got Sam saying hello to Dave. Got Matt saying I pre ordered the video store arrow set. That looks cross. Awesome stuff. Glad you got it. Ah, fancy that. Cool. Looks, looks, good. Mm. looks good, that. Yeah, I might get it, to be fair. Josh, you planning on picking it up? Uh, I don't know what video store is. Uh, it's like old eighties films from the the rental shop of VHS days type of thing. Yeah, then nah. Uh, I, I think <laughs> yeah, then nah. Uh, I think there's a bit of fantasy, a bit of horror in there, something like that. It is, but I I, I really like the look of it. 
Yeah, no. Is that the name of the film? No, it's like a five-disc box set. So oh. It's 45 or 55 quid, which I thought was really good. There was a film called Video Star. Get out. <laughs> So you're Come on, awkward to... silence. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll be picking it up, Nigel? I might do, actually, yeah. I'd like to. Awesome. What about you, Jamie? Uh, probably not. No. It's got Batman in it. <laughs> what? It's got Batman in it. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll have two. What about you, Pete? You planning on picking it up? It's a very nice looking set. I don't know what the titles are that are included, but I'll have a little research on the titles, and if they intrigue me, yeah, I may get it. Will you watch it, though? Yeah. About 12 years. Don't sound so fucking shocked. (laughs) I'll I'll, 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 I'll get to it as quickly as possible. On your 90th birthday, then. (laughs) <laughs> what about you, Andy? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much the same as Nige. I, I think it looks like a great set, and I, I don't know what a clue, you know, what any of the movies are about. Like, but it tickles the pickle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get arrested, Sid. Tell me why I tickle your pickle. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Hey, <laughs> 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 God, I've broke him. <laughs> he used to be so quiet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Have we got Cy Robson here? Hello, mate. Hey. hey up. And we've got Dave saying, shy. It's shy. <laughs> <laughs> just put your hands, he does it to the microphone, oh, does he? He goes, shy. Yeah. Yeah. Don't he's you know culture? <laughs> we've got Matt Chats here. Hello, mate. Saying, evening, fellow uh, film fans and Felchers. Felchers. Yeah. Good evening, <laughs> Mr. Chats. Hi. What is a Felcher? Hi. Um, I don't know what a photo is, to be honest. We got <laughs> Sarton, Sarton or Joke for Joke. Hello, we sensational and mountain of knowledge of Andy. You were missed on Wednesday night. Hope you're okay. There you <laughs> go. You want to know what felching is? No. Not, no. <laughs> I didn't think it would. I think it's got two meanings. Oh, both okay. of which are quite <clears throat> vomit-inducing. Oh, oh. I just Googled it. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> hey, uh! Did the one you <laughs> Google have something to do with a hamster? No. What? Yeah, that's the one I know of. Wait, what? With a I'm not going to read it out loud, but it's fucking <laughs> rough. Is it something to do with sperm? Yes. What? Yeah, my fucking youngest daughter told me what that meant. That was my reaction. <laughs> <laughs> the one oh, I yeah, heard years ago was something is, to do yeah. with a. Uh, Something to do with a tube and a and a, and a, and a hamster and a, and a gerbil, yeah. I'm not clicking in the Oh. Oh, well. You learn <laughs> something new know. every day. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't really know what to say now, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. I'll tell you later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't read this It's out not loud. pleasant. It's gross. I've got Mike saying, you know, a uh, tree one day... Um... Okay. Uh, oh, you know, true. You know, true. One day, Andy will find you and smack you. Yeah. <laughs> Got some saying, "Can't wait for a Lighthouse 4K hour edition. Looks stunning. Awesome. Yeah, I did see that. Um, uh, yeah, it does look really cool. To be fair. What about you, Josh? I might do. You know, because that movie's just so good. It's so, good film. It's probably. I wouldn't. I don't know if it's Robert Edgar's best film. I think his best is The Northman for me, but I think I might get it depending. Even though I don't tend to buy films anymore, I'll probably buy that one. Awesome. And uh, what about you, Nigel? Fuck no. I've never heard of it. No worries, Nigel. And uh, what about you, Jamie? 
uh, uh, Robert Edgar's he did the 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 witch, and then he did Lighthouse, and then he did The Northman. I've not Northman. seen any of them, but I've seen, I've got the Lighthouse Cine Edition, all the with the collector's cards, and I've got the mm. Northman 4K Edition. And uh, uh, Batman's in the Lighthouse, and the gob- and Green Goblin. Lighthouse Keepers. Oh, fuck me. Is it based on a true story? No, no. no. I'd be very disturbed if it was. No. It's like a horror film, isn't it? What the light I mean, It's a yeah, slow burn. Very, very I'm slow burn. But you've got like mermaids and shit. To watch it, but uh, I do want to get the witch, and then I can just watch all three and rank them, and then I'll be very yeah, quick ranking. Good, no, no. I'm just based on a true story. What about you, Pete? Um. I don't know, yeah. Uh, the Lighthouse is supposed to be a very mixed opinion film, very much like something like uh, Hereditary and uh, Midsummer. You either love it or hate it. So I may just get the Blu ray. I'll probably find it cheaper and then give it a watch and then see what Skin I think. Fucker. Hereditary and Midsummer are masterpieces. I like Hereditary a lot. Wasn't too keen on Midsummer. I ain't paying thirty or twenty-five quid for for a film if I'm not keen on it. So I'd, I'd rather prefer... get the cheaper version of it. Midsummer is a lot better than Hereditary, but I do like Hereditary. I agree. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. but it's just it's just some kind of feeling that that gives you that Hereditary doesn't, because Hereditary just tries and scares the shit out of you. Midsummer Who tries the tree? To... Was it fucking scary? It was hard. Yeah, it was. It didn't... Scared, Andy. It didn't, it didn't affect Creep me, me at fuck all. Up. Creep me the fuck out. But oh. the whole idea of Midsummer is, is a weird juxtaposition because it's a very yeah. bright and vivid film, yet the film is so dark in nature. You know, that's, it's very fucking That's the scariest grim. thing about it because it's in the daytime. <laughs> Do you know what's more scary? Swedish people. Oh. And it... <laughs> And it shows you that. <laughs> because fuck me, like the shit that they get down that they get into in that, like orgies and drinking mushroom soup which makes them high as fuck, like you know, there's some weird stuff in that movie, but I love it. Oh, you like the travel agent for Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised there hasn't been uproar over that with Sweden. <laughs> Oh, they see it as a comedy in Sweden. They do. Oh. What hereditary? No. Yeah. Uh, uh, Midsummer. Midsummer. I meant. I meant Midsummer. Yeah. Uh, I, I know somebody, and they say they think it's a comedy. They take it as like a dark comedy. What do they see as a horror then? What Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? Yeah, used to watch that a lot when I was kids. Uh, what about you, Andy? Are you planning on getting like I was full case set? No, no, I, I, I'll just stick to the, the, the Blu ray. Um, I don't yeah, like it enough to get it on 4K. No worries. And we got uh, many of you all saying, Yeah, I'm so excited, awesome, and you just can't hide it. I was <laughs> Excited for what exactly? Mm-hmm. This for, uh, green. Lighthouse, maybe. Or oh. not be sure. We got uh, Danny Jig saying female, favorite female wrestler, Roxanne Perez and Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch. Roxanne is- Reras and Lecky Binch. Not, not done. I what Roxanne um, Perez oh, is. God. Be fair. Oh God! 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 No one with a sex type of a sex type. I mean, sex appeal. Sex type. Sex type. Oh, he that. said that same thing on the last stream. Uh, no, the woman's uh, round the house, isn't she? With her husband as well. Oh. Man, oh, fucking yeah. bones. You wonder what they're getting oh, up to, don't they? I bet it's an RJ. 
And he says, and, 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 okay. Orgy of tapeworms. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, so they think I should be oh God. Got uh, Danny saying hi to you all. Hello, da um, Danny. Hey, Danny. Hi, Danny. Hi, Danny. Uh, got True saying he loves Andy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As do I, actually. Got um, Sid hey, saying, evening, that's all you're doing. Hey. Hello, mate. Doing very well, Hello. thank you. Got uh, Sam saying, Andy, great Blu ray haul vid, mate. Let's hope Heaven get a, got a result on Monday night. Oh, cheers, Sam. I hope so too. Yeah. What does the OYB mean? Come on, you come blues. Are yeah. oh, you blues? Oh, come on, you oh, blues. I thought, I thought it was come on, you boys. I was going to say, well, I'd rather not, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I hope so, Sam. I hope so. Are you playing on uh, Monday? Tottenham. Oh, that'd be an interesting game. Might watch, watch that one. Tottenham, Tottenham, no one can stop them. That was a fucking song and they released it, believe it or not. Well, what? Was it? Yeah. Tottenham, wow. Tottenham, no one can stop them. And then they got kicked out, I think. In one of the, um, whatever the cups they have, because I don't follow soccer. Um. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got Michael saying, just worth watching the stream for Mrs. What God, I hope you'll have a good one tonight. Oh, someone likes me. I think he just wants to see your hairy ass. What Not the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> the white what is got the... all fucking nah, that's is disturbing. Is he trying to take a picture? What? Oh, my God. What's going on? What's what going on? on? I just caught... I don't I know if you won't fucking tell me. I just caught wind of it. Oh. <laughs> what? What? What's that? Go go back to that message, Scott, and then just let it sink in. Yeah. Well, hello oh, there. No. Right. Is that it? No. To watch and stars wife. Wife. Oh, fuck, look at that fucking... <laughs> oh, no. Oh. 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 Is it two like... I suppose... It looks like Why, hello girl. there. Oh, my God, this fucking... To you, too. Now. Oh god! Oh, oh, that. Oh, that face is horrendous. That's that's Arnold Schwarzenegger with a minge. It, yeah, I was going to say, is it like a wig and like makeup on it? Oh my god, there's, there's fucking two of them. <laughs> they, they oh, think, oh, well, I'm there. What's disturbing about that? <laughs> They're procreating. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Just just seeing see Arnold Schwarzenegger and makeup. Oh my yeah. days. We got oh, God. Hello, Mrs. Action Star. She has arrived. Oh, they're multiplying. I bet she has oh. right in her pants. Where's oh, my Petey Weenie? Oh, God. Petey Weenie. Fucking hell. I haven't been called that since fucking night. nursery. Jeez. Uh. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's a little bit messed up. Petey Weenie and Washy. Oh, no. Oh, God. Hear me, hear me. Scotty, Anyone calls me Andy Pandy tonight? I'm fucking <laughs> <someone's lawyer. laughs> <laughs> 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 Oh, Andy hey, Harry. Hello, I'm, I'm Harry. Oh, God. Oh. We got Harry saying Skyward swords activated. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> we got Trudge and Stars. So we watched Ryan the Biscuit Fame stream last night. It was a party stream for his birthday. Very today. I've seen more. Oh, right. Okay. I've seen more. Wait, what? I've seen more life in a carol. When the on. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> well, you're not wrong, bro. You're not wrong. Oh, man. <laughs> Some of this. <laughs> It's fucking pointless. It's fucking hell. Have you kept talking with your mum? Look at that. He's going. Oh, He's God. gone. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, fucking hell, man. 
<laughs> Fucking glad I didn't have a gob full of that then. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Fuck, Fuck, Fuck oh. me. Well, you're not. Man. Well, let's just say you're oh, not wow. wrong. You're not wrong there. I didn't want to read that out now, but yeah. <laughs> you might as well because I fucking will if you don't. Yeah. Fuck hell, I can't breathe. <laughs> oh. Hey, shit. Just thought I'd be polite enough to read it, but it's oh. actually quite funny to be fair. Yeah, oh. Funny. oh my god. Cool. Oh. Got Matt saying, Have you guys seen Eden Lake? I haven't yet, no, but I do plan to watch it soon. If, uh, Josh, you haven't really? seen it, I suppose. No. No. <gasps> Oh, I still can't get that comment on my head. Fucking hell. <laughs> it was only two seconds ago, Scott. Yeah, I know. Mm. What about, um, you know, you really liked it, don't you, for Eden Lake? Yes. Yeah, again, like we answered this the other night. Yeah, <laughs> whipped it out again. And, and uh, half an hour ago. Yeah. The yeah, we're seeing it. Away. The it's the disturbing as fuck. There's a single the dog's to breath. Yeah, it's called Woo! Eden Camp. Oh, Eden Camp. Wow. Eden Pond. Amy did it I watched that the back to back with a reversible on the same day. Oh, oh. I'm surprised oh. you're fucking still here. I couldn't have handled oh. that. Yeah. Oh, I had to watch me. fucking Run Fat Boy Run afterwards. <laughs> I think the next time I watch Eden Lake, I'll be putting fucking Disney films on straight after it. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I, I watched it last night and went straight to bed, and yeah, I couldn't fucking sleep last night. So I was like, fucking hell, we've when got a I load of these living it, near us. When I watched it for the first time, Eden Lake, I had to watch Super Bad after. Oh. Oh. I watched it on a Sunday night and then went to bed, and I was like, shit, I couldn't stop thinking about it. I was like, that was horrible because it's so realistic, and I bet it not only can happen, but I bet it has somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the thing. Yeah, that's it's all just I was more about. scarily yeah. realistic. We live near where mm. Benefit Street was filmed. It was probably happening there. Probably. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> Have we got saying um, Buff Field makes me want to shower? Oh, I, I bet agree. It's pretty rough, to be fair, we got. Gallagher, I think I saw him on oh, the podcast. Oh, he's in Gremlins. He's the main thing in Gremlins. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> yeah, plays Billy in Gremlins. It's been ages since I've watched that film. Need to watch that yeah. film again, definitely. And we've got Mike saying, I uh, forgot what watch last night. I'll watch it tonight. I'm oh. guessing that was in Eden Lake. Eden Lake. Oh, Steve's in it. I didn't realise he'd seen it, to be fair. But he's in uh, Eden Lake. What a brutal film. I thought you said he was in it. Steve's in it. Oh, oh. Steve oh. Anders as Chav number one. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, fuck it out, film. Yeah. Jack O'Connell's in it, isn't he? Yeah, Thomas mm -hmm. Tergoose is in it as well. Yeah, yeah. there's oh, quite, yeah. quite a few well known stars in it. Michael Fassbender. And we got your actual star saying that isn't the wife, by the way. Oh. No oh. shit. Oh. The sticks, oh. Um, oh, I got excited hey, then. Hey, <laughs> AJ. Hey, AJ. Hello, yeah. AJ. Say, I hope everyone is well. Yeah, we're all good. Thank you. Yeah. Good to see you mate. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, thank looking forward to your stream. I think it's tomorrow. Have we got AJ saying, Jamie, need to look at a date for you to join one of our lives, mate? Yeah, definitely. I'd love, love to come on and chat with you and Matt. Yeah. Awesome. We've got Matt chat saying that he saw and he loves some um, Howard the Duck at last. Fair play, James. Yeah. <clears throat> I, think, I think Howard, because when before I watched Howard the Duck, I was aware that it kind of get, get a, gets a bit of hate, but I don't get the a hate. Bit. For it. I, just, I just loved it. Fuck me. Awesome. <laughs> Sorry, carry on, Pete. No, I was just going to say, isn't there a song in Howard the Duck that just goes, Howard the Duck? Yeah. yeah. It's like a rock song. Oh, is it? It's it, 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 a song in Howard the Duck that just goes, Howard the Duck. Well, it's not going to say Rupert the Cat. <laughs> no, but isn't it just Howard the Duck all the way through and it's like yeah. a rock song? Isn't the girl from Back to the Future in it or something? Yeah. The movie should be called What the Fuck. 
It's that bad bit crazy. <laughs> I guess I have seen it. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna take the dog out. Out of what? I think he wants a piss. <laughs> oh, that seems normal now. Probably <laughs> Rain Man with some of the Mission Impossible films, namely um five and six. Also, um, Top Gun Maverick is up there for me as well, definitely. What about you, Josh? Um, probably Top Gun Maverick or Mission Impossible Fallout, but I, I don't adore that film as much as other people do. I don't think it's like the second coming of Christ or whatever, but it's, it's yeah, probably Top Gun Maverick, I'd say. The second coming of Christ? Yeah, because I know everybody thinks it's like the second coming of Christ. Like, I've, yeah, I've not met anyone yet who dislikes it. I don't no, dislike it. I, don't get me wrong. It's like a full, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't. You say I know you like it, but you know? I've never met anyone who said I, I hated that movie. I've never, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've yeah. never met anyone who's who said that. Oh, yeah. Which film are we on about there? The one who has. It's a masterpiece. Maverick's a masterpiece. Hmm. Awesome. And uh, Nigel, what are your some some of your favourite uh, Tom Cruise films? There's only one of his I like. The Firm. Oh, I still need to watch that film. That's really, really good. Apart from that, I avoid him like the plague. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no worries. What about you, Jamie? Uh, there's only one that exactly. comes to mind. Uh, I, I do love Tom Cruise, but uh, a lot of people don't talk about his performance enough. And uh, he plays a bad guy in one role and he yeah, gives the best. Performance of his entire oh. career, and that is collateral. That's good, good film. film. It is a masterpiece. I love it. It's very good. Awesome. Mm. And uh, Pete, what about you? Well, for years I never used to like him. Always thought he was a smarmy cunt. But ever since Mission Impossible, I really <laughs> liked right? him now. I, I do like him now. Um, but I've gone through a lot of his films, and for me, Top Gun Maverick. Mission Impossible 4, to four, five, and 6, uh, Jerry Maguire, and I'll give a shout-out to Risky Business as well. I like that Is one. that good? Because I bought it yeah. about three weeks ago, but I've never watched it. I've got which, it on Which Blu-ray. one? Risky Business. Which one? That's a lot of fun. It's not the greatest thing, but it's fun to see a young Tom Cruise dancing about in the living room with the shades on to Old Town Rock and Roll. I've heard this fun film, to be fair, Risky Business. Need to yeah. watch that one. And um, Andy, what about you? Yeah, there's there's loads. I like with them in Top Gun Maverick, Born on the 4th of July. is amazing. Um, the Outsiders is fantastic. I was just going to oh. say, being yeah. The Outsiders. Yeah. I've only saw that once and I fucking loved it. I didn't know yeah. he was in it. I love it. Great it's, film. it's a great film. Amazing I'll probably change my mind about that. I didn't realize he was yeah. in it. Yeah, I actually prefer his earlier stuff to be honest. Like, yeah. um, all the all the right moves is great. Uh, Taps is great. Um, Edge of Tomorrow is fantastic. That's wow. really underrated. That is, yeah, uh, I, I love it. Yeah. I'm still waiting on the sequel. Yeah, um, Minority Report as well is fantastic. That's a great uh, film. Last Samurai is great. Yeah, uh, Valkyrie is fucking amazing as well. That's an amazing. Um, when you think about it and you look at his filmography, he's been in some fucking gems. And a few good men not, as well. He was in that, wasn't he? No, this film does get a bit of hate, but I actually do like the remake of War of the Worlds he did. Yeah, it's not bad. It's good. It's not bad. I, I like it. it. Yeah, it's not a bad film. Yeah, I yeah. like that film. Yeah. Eyes, eyes wide shut as well. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's a good film. Days of Thunder's pretty Days fun of Thunder, as well. yeah. I actually even really like Cocktail. I don't Cocktail. mind Cocktail. I haven't seen that. Yeah. I haven't seen that one. Yeah. And then um, Colour of Money as well. Yeah, that's a don't great one. Don't to watch that one. Yeah. Yeah. Risky that's Business with, um, is great as well. Mm, that's with Paul Newman, isn't it? Um, yeah, yeah. Colour mm. Money, yeah. yeah. Oh, I've seen that one. Mm. I like that as well. Mm-hmm. Isn't that... Have, have you seen that nice thing? Have you seen it's that a, big box sequel. set of the outsiders? Sequel. Yeah, I've got it. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've got it. Who's got, got it? Me. Oh. Yeah. I've got the oh, Studio Canal box set of the outsiders. Yeah, it's fucking oh. amazing. Yeah. You have to get a fucking mortgage. 
there's four there's four four <laughs> studio canal the big box sets i've got i've got flash gordon the outsiders highlander and total recall awesome and i think wow Yes. They're nice sets. Well, they're all 4K as well, yeah. Yeah, they're all yeah, they're amazing. The, the only problem with that outsiders one, I've noticed they've got one in our local HB. It's like really torn to bits down the side because it's very thin paper. It's because it's made it so fucking rough with them. Yeah. Whenever they put, you know, like the spider clips on. Oh, it doesn't have a spider tag on Yeah, we have we have we've been using loads of them today. Yeah, they, they can fuck up a good set. Mm. But Nah, the, the only thing I don't like about it is it comes with a badge and it's just there's nowhere to put the badge. It's just it's just oh, flapping right. all over the place in the box. Right. Well, I've heard that before. It's actually inside yeah. the box sealed with the rest of the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, how strange you don't know to put it on like somewhere where yeah, it would no, be like, like a little kept type before of thing. It. No, it's just in there. Yeah. You just you've just got to put it in with all the booklets and the little flap bit. Just yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about it, but everything else about it is fucking great. Awesome. Yeah, Outsiders is fantastic. I need to check out the 4K a bit as well, because I do also have that uh, 4K set a bit, and it's um really nice yeah. set. It's just, the, it's just the cast of that movie is incredible. It's I remember really Ralph Macchio was in it, wasn't he? Yeah. And C. Thomas Hall from The Hitcher. Gosh, yeah. 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 Bob Lowe as well. Yeah, Patrick Swayze. Yeah. Yes, well, is in it as well. Yeah, uh, Emilio Estevez is in it as well. It's just yeah. amazing. I keep seeing that in H and B. Matt Dillon, ninety-nine on Blue. Matt Dillon, yeah, yeah. Diane Lane's the one I remember the most in it. Yeah, mm-hmm. Diane Lane's great in it as well. Yeah, and uh, Ralph Macchio from Karate Kid as well. He's in it. Yeah. What a cast that is! I mean, wow, so many great actors in that. Is it a Francis Ford Coppola film? It is, yeah. yeah. Oh god, yes it is. It's it's great to watch it's great to watch it back to back with Rumblefish because they're the two movies he made the same year and they've both got Matt, really? uh, Matt Dillon in. Matt and Dillon. Are they not related though? Not re- complete. You might not like Rumblefish, Nigel, because it's got Mickey Rorkin. But, <laughs> 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 but watching the two of them back to back is great. It's black and white Rumblefish, but yeah, it's, watching the two movies back to back is great. I need to get that one bullfish. I've been mm. meaning to watch that. I think it's on Eureka. Awesome. Yeah. I'll get that. Uh, like I said the other night, though, um, I do have a film with Mickey Rock in. And I watched that. I love it. Awesome. I got, I've got. picked that up fun. today. I need to, I'm going to watch that. it. Yeah. Oh, it's mint. It's like low budget, but God, what a film it is. It is good. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Got uh, Dave St. John... John looks like an ex-girlfriend of mine. Uh, God, I miss her. <laughs> oh, that fucking stinks. Got, oh, um, my God, as well. Magnolia is the best Tom Cruise film. Yeah, I'm actually not a fan of that, unfortunately, but I do need to give it another rewatch. You're not a fan of Mike? Oh, I'm a fan. I love Magnolia. Nah. Yeah, yeah I, a lot of people are big fans of it, so I definitely need to give it a rewatch. Uh, got Matt Chat saying I love that Tom Cruise film where he runs. Mission oh, that narrows it down. <laughs> Pretty much <laughs> all of them, man. <laughs> I'm assuming there's another comment after this. Uh, no, no. No, oh, really? no. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming one of the Mission Impossible films. I remember him running in one of those. Don't know if that's correct or not, though. And we got Jackson here. Hello, mate. So now, hey guys, hey. I'll be dropping in and out. I've got a John Wick 4 review in the works, and I've got work um in a bit. No worries, Jackson. Thank you so much for joining. Really appreciate it, mate. Got Sai so saying, have any of you watched um, Pie by Dan yeah. Avanovsky? I really enjoy it. Is that Life of Pie? No. No, no it's Pie it's is in the math symbol. Oh, mm-hmm. right, yeah. Right. Okay, I, I think I've heard of it before. I've yeah. not watched it yet, though. Have you seen it before, Josh? I haven't seen that one, no. I've seen his other stuff, but just haven't seen Pi yet. No worries. Uh, what about you, Nigel and Laura? Never even heard of it. <laughs> no worries. The only Pi you? I've heard of is fucking steak. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, apple. Uh, what about you, Jamie? Uh, I've never heard of it. I've heard of the life of Pi. 
Yeah, mm. that's a good film. Harry Pie. Oh, oh. <laughs> what about you, Pete? No, pie. haven't seen it. Only seen the American Pie. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> wow. What about you, Andy? Yeah, I've seen it. It, it wasn't my favourite film by him, but I just thought it was okay. His name's yeah. Pete as well. His name's Petey, and he has gigantic balls. <laughs> but Sam saying, yeah, fra- oh, Magnolia, it's fantastic. Possibly my favourite Paul Thomas Anderson film too. Awesome. Isn't it like three hours long? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, it's three hours cool. long. Yeah. It's three hours long, eight minutes, I think. It's probably Tom Cruise is probably playing the most unlikable person in that movie of, out of all his roles because he plays like a, like a chauvinistic male who like does these like convention tours teaching other males how to abuse and take advantage of women. Oh, oh, he sounds yeah. like a cunt, then. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Have we got Dave saying you really want to kick a fuck out of them to kid kids in either they corporal little fuckers? You certainly do. The vile. Yeah. Why isn't this working? Oh, I'm not I'm not too sure, obviously, as I haven't seen it yet, but I'm <sighs> sure I'll find out when I get around to watching it. Have we got Matt Chat saying Magnolia is fab? Awesome. Glad you enjoy it. Got Steve saying many once in class in nineteen eighty four. Yes, so I've seen it quite a few times. I really, yeah. really enjoy it. Because it's a great movie from the 80s. Uh, what about you, Josh? Uh, no, never heard of it. No worries. What about you, Nigel and Laura? Yes, I've got the uh, Blu-ray. I absolutely love it. I've, all, I've always loved it. I remember seeing it on video in the 80s, but I think it was cut then. Probably might have been, yeah. I, don't know I, th- I, think, it was, I think it was 101 who released it, wasn't it? The box one? Yeah. Because I was, I was after the Screen Factory one until they released that. But I absolutely love that film. I don't think you've seen it. I don't think I've seen it. One of my favourite um, film star, Michael J. Fox. Yeah, he's just on the credits. He's just Michael Fox, isn't he? Before he was known. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, before Back to the Future and all that. Hmm. Awesome stuff, Nigel. What about you, Jamie? No, no, I don't think I've heard of it. No worries. What about you, Pete? I've heard of it. I've seen the 101 release before. Didn't know until recently Michael J. Fox is in it, but I'm intrigued to watch it, definitely. I think you'll enjoy it. Yeah, same here. What about you, Andy? Yeah, I I watched it after so many people had said good things about it, but it didn't work for me. I just couldn't gel with it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Maybe maybe I need to give it another rewatch, but I didn't enjoy it. I've got to be honest. I've I thought be, you would have said you loved it. I thought that would have been right yeah. up your street. That I think it might have been because so many people had said, "Oh, it's great, it's great, it's great." And then when I finally watched it, I was like, uh, I, "I'm I might be missing something here." I don't know. Um, <laughs> Roddy McDowell's it. in it as well. Is he? Is he? Hmm? He's the teacher. One of the teachers. Yeah. Oh. I will have to give it a rewatch at some point. Mm. Okay, I, I think you might like, like it, it, you know. Yeah. They actually did a sequel as well. It wasn't like a direct sequel, it was yeah. the same director and everything called um, Class of 1999. And I only watched that recently because I got it on the Vestron label. And I fucking really enjoyed that as well. That's a good film. I like that as oh, well. That's good. It's good. always put me off by the title because I always thought it was like science fiction, but it's not. It's just that it's set in the future, like 1984 yeah. was. Passive 84, I mean. Oh, not bad. Both of them, honestly, they're both really, really good films. You should watch them both if you get a chance. Yep, yeah, I agree. Got uh, Matt Chat saying, if you like a Mighty Wind, you need to see um, Best in Show, same team that made Mighty Wind. Yeah, I love, I love both those movies. I love, I've seen Best in Show a couple of times. It's great. Awesome. We'll have to check those films out, definitely. They may come up as they go along. 
We've got Sam saying, I really want to see that film on one of our one films. Hope you enjoy it, Sam. Yeah. Got a uh, Manuel Yule saying, I recently ordered Eden Lake for Crush on Blu ray, waiting to receive them. Awesome. The fuck is it? Crush, as in the Alicia Silverstone film. I, I think, think so, yeah. So, yeah. That, that is film. fantastic, that film. Yeah. I, I need that. I don't want to have it. I used to have that on video as well. What a film. I've even heard of that. Yeah, it's it's great. I've got Spanish Blu-ray of it. It's, it's fucking awesome, that movie. Mm. Yeah, it's like, she's awesome. It's like she's a, a teenager, and, and like, they are, they are the, like the, the highest somebody to look after someone, but she turns all fucking wow. That's all I'm going to yeah. say. It's, it's a bit like Fatal Attraction. It's, it's very much that type of movie, but yeah, I really enjoyed The Crush. I thought it was, thought it was great. Alicia Silverstone's fantastic, and she does it far too fucking well. Yeah. It's a bit with the bees as well. I won't say too oh, much. It's, is it Kerry Ke- Elvis? Ellis. The car, the amount of saw he's in it as well. Yeah, yeah. He's like the, the main the main doctor out of saw, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He's the, te- he's the teacher who goes to sort of look after her and now he moves in or something. Yeah. Definitely worth watching. Yeah, it's really oh, good. Check that one out. Awesome. And, uh, Jamie, have you read all Sin of a Crush before? No, I don't think I have. No. No worries. Well, you do doubt the saws in it, so you should. Kerry <laughs> <laughs> Elvis. That's him. Yeah, he's. Someone who's chained him on the floor. Jamie, I'm talking to you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. <laughs> Dr. Gordon. Yes, with a yeah, white or grey. Yeah, well, he's in the crush. Ah. Ah, you want to see it now, don't you? No. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> got uh, Steve saying he rec- rec- recommends it. Um, and are you also not seen a horror co- called The Guardian? Have you not watched that one? If you have, what's your thoughts on it? Mm-hmm. I've heard of it, I think, but I've definitely not seen it before. Josh, I'm assuming you haven't watched it. Have I fuck? No. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Bob Batty and Nigel Nora. Same as you, Scott. I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. No. No worries. Bob Batty and Pete. Haven't heard of it. Never seen You've been there. Oh, Don't oh, tell oh, me oh. you've got it. <laughs> My be. Like David Ian film bloke. <laughs> oh, I think the one I'm thinking of is an 80s horror. It's about lifeguards. He oh. just said it's a horror in the comment. It's a horror. So I It's a horror film. It, I don't think it's that one. Uh, oh, you got it wrong fun. there, DVD and film blow. <laughs> no worries, yeah. Jamie. The baby. It's, a, it's a horror and it's supposed to be a right terrifier. Oh, stop it. Oh. <laughs> 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 nice artwork on yeah. that. It's got really good I know. Anyway, to be fair. I wouldn't watch it all in one go, though, because it's supposed to be a little bit rocky. Oh, fuck off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you're like, and definitely yeah. do not watch it when you're home alone. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what are you getting for now? No, I'm, it's it's over my head, that one. I've not heard of it or seen it. Get the night wake up again. <laughs> I don't know whether to bring up the next comment or not because I'm sort of weirded out by um, Traction Star's comments. Oh, bring, it up, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Put it up and I'll read it out. I asked Ooh. if he had a birthday Whoa. wank and he curled up and quickly changed the subject. What? So, yeah, he did. Good lad. Who? Ryan. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's the one. Uh. Oh, I think I've seen that. Oh, that's before. quite cool. Night. Night. Wow. T previous uh, uh, films and that you were doing all oh, did them all. Mm. I've only got one thing to say. Just... Fuck <laughs> me, man. Oh, <laughs> oh god. Oh dear. Have we got Ian here with a bubbling here? Hello, mate. Hey, Ian. Hey, Ian. Hey, you're being. Got, no, got Timmy yeah. here. Hello, Timmy. Hey, Timmy. Hey, Timmy. 
So first um, Scotch dream, looking forward to it. Thank you to me. Hope you enjoy. Mm. Got Alex saying I am to Ian. You'll enjoy this stream. It's about as exciting as the an amusement park. No. Have we got many of you? Hey, Scott and everyone. I hope everyone is keeping well. Also, Pete, so I can assure you this is the place you want to be tonight. Looking forward to a stream. Scott, going to be mental. Oh, at least that's the amusement. What's up, sir? that amusement? Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, stop it. To actually start saying, what's your favourite Bill Murray film? That is an excellent question. Ooh. Maybe oh, Groundhog my. Day for me. I really, really love that film. So funny. Yeah. Who could watch Although that? we're all going to feel after the aftermath of this. Oh, wow. <laughs> God. What, Scott only done? did it for two hours, did he? But he's. Um... He stretched them out uh, to three hours now because he's quite expendable. Oh, oh no, oh, wow. stop it. Oh, that, was, that, was a reach. that was a reach, that one. I give in now. <laughs> I was fully expecting there to be a blue ray for give in at that point. That's uh, all the Maybe uh, St. Vincent's a good one. Yeah, oh, that's that, too bad. the one where they did the Ghostbusters crossover with uh, Melissa McCarthy and Bill Murray. What the fuck? No. Well, <laughs> it, she's, she's in it. it. <laughs> she's in it. Doesn't mean it's the same characters. Yeah, I know. I know. It's it was a joke. drunken guy who who has a few accidents. I don't think that's Ghostbusters somehow. It is really good, Saint Vincent. Actually, yeah, it is yeah. good. Yeah, it's good. Mm. Good choice, Josh. What about you, Nigel and Laura? Ghostbusters and um, Jackie Brown, I think, for me. I like him in uh, Zombieland. I don't think you've Great seen that. Choices. I haven't. Good. What, and uh, what about you, Jamie? Bill Murray. I'd probably say St. Vincent. And <laughs> No, I'm just on my own. I'm, I'm getting thinking. What about you, Pete? Uh, Groundhog Day, but he's in that Wes Anderson one, uh, Life Aquatic. He's pretty good in that one. That's a good film, yeah. Oh, with Steve Zizou. Yeah. Steve O. Steve O. Steve Zizou, or whatever his last name is. The aquatic, life, the aquatic Life of Steve Zizou. It's Wes Anderson, so. and. Um, Nigel won't like it. <laughs> Where's Anderson, who directed Scream? No. Tumbleweed. Did you say that, that tumbleweed? Yeah, yeah, that was dead. I think I just shocked them all into fucking silence, thinking, that fuck <laughs> can't be serious. <laughs> oh. Awesome choice, Pete. What about you, Andy? Yeah, Ghostbusters, uh, Lost in Translation. Oh. Um, my what, one of my favorite comedies ever is What About Bob. I I love that film. I've heard that's good. That him and him and Richard Dreyfuss in that film, fucking hilarious. Yeah. Awesome stuff there. Yeah. Lived a very short life. Yeah. Got me. Are you saying just great fun, laughing smiles? What? Michael, what movie or TV show do you like to rewatch multiple times? Mm. Um, quite a few Fuck movies yeah, I like no. to rewatch a lot of times. Stephanie, the Rocky franchise, the original Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, the Karate Kid as well. Um, yeah, this, those are just some of the ones off the top of my head at the moment. What about you, Josh? Sunburn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, probably TV shows either Looking for Alaska or Normal People I watch those a lot even though they're mm -hmm. quite long and depressing I still watch them in terms of films Wolf of Wall Street's endlessly rewatchable uh, even though it's like three hours long it's still rewatchable so yeah that's a couple good choices Josh what about you um, Laura and Nigel 
Oh, my movies is gonna be Harry Potter. You can rewatch them and rewatch them and rewatch them. TV shows will be Frasier that I absolutely love and Bones. I can just rewatch them over and over. Awesome choices. I haven't seen any of them, unfortunately, but definitely need to get around to a Harry Potter film soon. What You've never you seen Harry them? Potter? No. What? Oh, no. Yeah. What about you, Nigel? Oh! <laughs> He's just trying to throw him a fish. Oh. <laughs> um, films, Jaws, Friday the 13th, and um, loads of others. There's that many. I can't think of any uh, telly shows. I'm going to say Never the Twain and uh, Rizzoli and Isles, which is a which is like an American cop and murder, murdery blood analytic type of partnership cop program. Female. It's fantastic. Mm. Awesome. Sounds really good to be fair. I'll have to check that one out at some point. And uh, Jamie, what about you? Uh, Dark Knight Trilogy, Collateral. There's just loads I watch. There is. There's just loads I watch every now and then. But TV oh. shows. I need to watch more TV shows. And uh, yeah, I need, I've got a load of DC ones I need to plow through. And I need to read what the lost again, actually. Oh, yeah, I've read that's good. Show. No, 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 no. That's Michael. Michael Hewitt. Yep. Is Michael Hewitt. Also, that's all, all you've noticed. <laughs> what about you, Pete? Uh, for me, films uh, Star Wars, uh, Dirty Harry, Battle Royale, some films I do like re watching. Uh, the Mission Impossible ones as well. Um, TV shows. Doctor Who when it was good. Uh, Who? Do like what? <laughs> Who? Oh fuck. <laughs> oh god. Um the Hannibal TV show is very good and I do like oh, no, rewatching right. the odd episode of Z Nation. It's like The Walking mm. Dead, but absolutely batshit crazy. I've heard that's pretty mental to be fair, yeah. Mm. Walking Dead but I agree with Daddy Harry, by the way. I forgot about that one. Love yeah, that. Great series. Yeah. Brilliant film. What about you, Andy? Yeah, there's there's too many to to go through, but a few of them, the Wayne's World movies. Oh, absolutely love. Well. Um, one of my favourite comfort movies ever is Adam's Family Values. I, I just fucking love that film. Um, I think I watched it about six times last year. I just, oh, wow. I just awesome. love it. Um, yeah. Oh, Fright, Fright Night and then America World in London. Yeah. I forgot about them and all. Yeah, f- yeah, Fright Night, mm-hmm. definitely. Um, yeah, Night of the Creeps, Pulp Fiction. I really need to see Night of the Creeps. Good film. Uh, it, does, it does start off very sort of sci-fi-ish, but once you get past that, it's, it's, it's great. It's full on horror after that. Oh, well, I recorded that the other week, Night yeah. of the Creeps, but my dad fucking deleted it, as he always does. <laughs> yeah, t- TV shows is classic Simpsons and, and Batman, the animated series for me. Oh. Oh, yeah, Simpsons, I could watch all the time. Yeah. I never liked Simpsons. It's got to be Nigel Simpsons. Simpsons. Mm. It's got to be the old Simpsons. It's got to be like the and first I... 10 seasons. That's And that's the three out episodes are my favourite. Three hours of horror. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I do love Family Guy, though. Yeah. Family Guy. Yeah, Family Guy's, guy, yeah, yeah, family guy's fucking funny. Herbert the pervert, man. Fucking hell. Be God, I know. Chris! <laughs> Hi, Chris. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> fat ass over. Get your fat ass over here. Get your fat ass over here, Chris. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got that it's Josh. It's Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Go on, Josh, give Josh, Josh Reeves. Yeah. That sounded like you burped. 
yeah. Maybe. Has Jamie gone for a bank? Probably. I don't know where he's gone. For one. He's just... Oh, 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 don't do that! <laughs> Jeez, he just, he just slipped in out of nowhere. I was just like, I wasn't expecting that. He slipped no, away. He looked That's like what... Mr. Fucking Nosy Bonk then. <laughs> oh, that... Oh, <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> a big bonk. fucking grin! Oh, that Nosy Bonk thing. He's a creepy cunt. <laughs> <laughs> He is that all right, yeah. Fucking old but bastard, he is. <laughs> <laughs> what is he? What is he, Scott? A fucking old but bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Super late. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, um, awesome choices there, Andy. Really good stuff. Thanks, Scott. No worries. And we got um, Ian saying hi to um, Alex. Got me your your saying, let the madness begin. Nige! Can you talk back to Scott? What's Scott? Do the other one. Mortal Kombat. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact he takes requests. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> wall. Oh, oh, I'm not ready for that just yet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm not ready for that just yet. <laughs> He's an artist. You have to warm his voice up. <laughs> You'll soon be doing autographs, Scott. Scott. Yeah. <laughs> Has to be lost in translation. One of my favourite films ever. Awesome stuff. Actually, it seems everyone's talking about it. I'll give it a go. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> I knocked down wall. 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 I knocked down <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah. I was it's thinking he was at the Royal Variety performance. Bloody yeah. hell! The preparation <laughs> you took there, Scott. Jesus. God you save the queen. Got what God's he's king doing. now. Yeah. Oh wow! Fuck. <laughs> God save the oh. king. <laughs> he did that without moving his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I got all the key. God save the king. Oh, I've got to take it. Oh, you've got to have a shit. Where's he gone? Is he going to have a shit? Minute. I'm having some of that. Oh, my bitch. There's a time and a place, Scott. Bloody oh. hell. Oh. He's back. Hey, back how you dried up, Scott? Dried up. Look oh, at fuck. that pussy magnet. <laughs> Choice of words, Pete. Come on. Then again, I fucked up tonight as well. Oh, this stream's gone mad. Got me, Nigel, saying everyone tune in. Scott's stream, what are the best streams you're going to get to? Pow! Um, thank you. Welcome to the house. Out we go. Pow! Pow. Got Steve saying one night in China. Sounds like it. Right, and people, one night in China, one night in China. Yeah, I'm not too sure what he's on about. I don't know what that one is. Uh, Don't mean you're saying, Scott, to kick off for strenuous. I've already done it, mate. He's way ahead of you. We've got Andy saying, happy Friday, lads. Hello, Andy. And uh, that's Mr. Perfect. Was a good wrestler back in the day. And Brett the Hot and Hot. What the fuck are you on about? Okay, my choking. Uh, British John Haystacks was good with Big Daddy. Yes, I agree. Definitely. Wasn't Big Daddy called Shirley Crabtree? He was. Yeah. Adam Sandler. You wouldn't dare take the piss out of him, though. Adam Sandler? <laughs> Adam, Adam, Adam Sandler? Big Daddy. <laughs> All right, Shells. <laughs> then you'd be dead. He'd just put a hand on you. Yeah. He was a big... Adam, it made me look like Adam, fucking Twiggy. <laughs> 
Do Alex say it would be a proper stream without Nigel's Norfolk cracks? I I'm guessing that means accent. <laughs> I don't live in Norfolk. Got me on your say what has anyone seen um lately? Has anyone seen a crush with Alicia Silver Silverstone? I thought what a performance from her, I really enjoyed it, worth a watch. Um, yeah, yes, we've gone through all that and yes, we've yeah. seen the crush. Mm. Awesome. I've got Sai saying, did anyone watch Fonch Pew on Hot Ones this week? Dan, she's a hot no. spot. Um, I no. will do well, later. Now you've brought it up, Sai. Did you I'll see have to research that. Yeah. Who are? Who <laughs> <Ooh>, are, indeed. <laughs> did you see the pictures of Florence Pugh from a month or two ago? The one where she was Oh, in the pink the thing. Dress. You can yeah. see nips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't doesn't leave much to the imagination, does it, Jamie? Uh, uh, one way of putting it. Oh god. You can see a niche. Did you like that, uh, Jamie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh Christ. Oh fuck. Band into his brain. Did you like that? I'm gonna have to Google this now. Got many ideals saying tonight's stream is going to be epic, just like every stream. I expect tonight to pull off some stunts tonight in these antics. Have you night, you beautiful what god? I've pulled Florence Pugh nips. Cock <laughs> <laughs> god. Cock um, god. Oh, yeah, you can. Oh, oh, shit, yeah, you can. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, what cute little titties. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Now she'll get to show as I couldn't. <gasps> I couldn't do that. What did you say? She could if she really wanted to. <laughs> she couldn't I wouldn't say no. <laughs> I wouldn't ban her from doing so. Oh, go on then, if you must, Flozza. 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 Oh. Hello, Mike. Hope you're doing hey, well. Hey, Mike. Got Andy saying, don't know, I used to create um, the Dungeons and Dragons ball games back in the 80s and early 90s. They were really popular. Uh, did I fuck? You would think you would have done, though. No. Like, you give that. <laughs> you really no. He sounds so Nah. Nah. No. <laughs> No. Got to actually start saying thoughts on the actress, actress Jodie Comer. The only good thing about three guys, we think. I thought it said Jodie Comer. I was going to say, is she? Is that out of Killing Eve? Never heard of her. Yeah, she's like, yeah, that's her. She was yeah, in that My Mad Frack Diary. Yeah, I've not really seen much of her in. Which one was she? The blonde haired one. I don't know why I do that. Her best yeah, friend. That. Oh. She, well, I'd like to see her nipples through a see-through dress as well. You I won't put on a register. Oh, that's there. Yeah, that film fucking sucks. Yeah. What is it? I don't know. Oh, she's yeah. Great. Free guy. I actually quite like that film. I thought it was a lot of fun. I like the film. Right. I like a good time. Yeah, never it. heard of it. Never heard of fucking anything. <laughs> It was very much just boomer humour. Like a 40 year old trying to be relevant kind of thing. Like, oh yeah, let's add Fortnite. Let's add YouTubers everybody knows. Let's make the film as ugly as possible. Yeah, just boomer. Boomer humour. I love free guy. Huh? I've seen it. Um, well, well, you we can have a threesome if you want. Oh. What? <laughs> Exceptionally quickly. <laughs> what the fuck? It's gone from a free guy to a free son. What the fuck, Jamie? No, that comment was jaws dropping. Oh, stop it. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Uh, if only I had my copy of the doors and then I could show you the door. Oh, dear <laughs> fucking lord. Yes. You if you'd have done that, I'd have made the screen fade to black. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. I, I tell you, a good film with her in. Fucking hell. Oh. <laughs> you are. I missed that. 
I said I'm on the edge with you lot. Oh, <laughs> oh for fuck's sake. Yeah. Comments like that, you must have a fucking death wish. There's a good there's a good film where they're in the same year Free Guy came out called The Last Jewel. She was really good <laughs> in that one. What was that? Oh, Last Jewel. Oh no. <laughs> Didn't you like it, Josh? I fell asleep. <laughs> Is is what you is Ridley Scott the think? guy who makes fucking Nyquil no, movies? He makes people. He, he makes movies for people who need sleeping aid. Those films. Here's a, a, film, here's a film for true action. Oh, get hard. Get oh, hard. Get hard. I don't think you need so I think he already is. <laughs> the Last Jewel and House of Gucci were two snoozers for me, and they came out in the same year. Like, the I didn't, I didn't hate right. them. It was a little oh, bit was... too long, but. I thought it was great. That's film. what she said. Adam Driver. <laughs> Adam Driver was really good in it. No, I, ben Affleck was, was a cunt yeah. in it, but fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> He's a cunt, but fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't he one of them in everything? No, kind of. He, yeah, I think that must one. be in his um, contract that he's got to be a cunt in every film. But there you go. What was that? What? Oh. Josh, you just went. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, thought, I thought he was a, like being a red Indian. Yeah, yeah. You, were like, you were rambling on. You were going like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm really fucking tired. All right, leave me alone. <laughs> so, yeah. It's not yeah, four right. o'clock in the morning. <laughs> You were it's nearly like asleep work, on Wednesday. I was going to you tell you, you were fucking talk. You were falling asleep. You wouldn't fuck off because you were afraid you missed out. <laughs> you, you, were bed, going, you were asleep on the yeah, stream. You were sitting bed. there. We were like, is he Is he all right? Is he awake? Yeah. I was asleep. I did fall asleep. Yeah, you were giving us a cheeky grin from your fucking what bed. What the thing is, we finished our <laughs> stream on <laughs> Wednesday and, out, and we left. We all left yeah. within like less than... A few minutes, I was yeah. flat out. And then after the stream, you took us to bed, didn't you? Oh, shit, fuck it up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I don't remember seeing that when I've rewatched it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not. It was, it was just basically me laid in bed, that's all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With my Batman versus Superman quilt cover. He was having a, he was having a little bit of an army <laughs> tank. <laughs> oh. oh. Got Steve saying body double is such a great film. Definitely is, Steve. Yeah. One hundred percent. I can't wait to see it. I think you'll love it, Nigel. No, I think it's right up your street. Got Ian saying watch Dark Places nineteen seventy three. Released released. I mean released by Nicholas Films. Released by Don Hart. Great cast, um, including oh, Chris Lee, um, Peter Lom, and Joan Collins. Great British horror of that period, loved it. Yeah, awesome. Well, I don't think I've actually like heard of this film, but I mean, it sounds really good. Josh, you heard yeah. a bit before? Oh, I know they did a remake with Charlie's Ferron, I think. I think that was an A24 film, which yeah. doesn't interest me, that one. I know, shocker, right? But. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just not interested in it. No worries, Josh. What about you, Laura and Nigel? Nope. Nope. Never heard of it. No worries. What about you, Jamie? I uh, don't think I've heard of it. No worries. What about you, Pete? Haven't heard of it, but it's Christopher Lee, so I'm sold. Brilliant actor, so yeah. I want to mm -hmm. check it out. Yeah. Definitely, I agree. What about you, Andy? Yeah, no, not not heard of it or seen it. No worries. We got um, Alex saying body double is a um, damn good um, dress to kill blowout, and that's our um, my go to to the Palmer trilogy. Love them. Soundtracks on them are all brilliant too. Yep, great films and great soundtracks. Mm. I've got dress to kill on vinyl. The soundtrack. Oh, awesome. Ooh. It's the original pressing as well. Great stuff nice. there, Nigel. And we got Steve saying with video store box set um looks good. I'll have to grab that. Yeah, it definitely looks good. Yeah, it does. Too. We got um Alex saying I'm all over that video 
um, store box set, um, best surprise I've ever come up with in Buddy Ages. Yeah, but it's um, definitely yeah. a surprise set. It's like a best room. Yeah, the fuck it's going to sell out at this rate. Is that what it's actually called? It's called the video store box set, yeah. It looks oh like God. a blockbuster, doesn't it? The box does. It's like a old design of like a mm. video store. It looks. Really to be honest, good. I didn't. I didn't look at the box. I was. I was too busy seeing what the films were. And I thought, I've heard of some of these. I fancy them. Enter the video store. That's it. Oh yeah, it is. If you go on Arrow's website, it's there. I might have a cheeky pre-order on Amazon. Cheeky one? <laughs> a cheeky one, yes. Matt says he agrees. I pre-ordered the video store set, not knowing anything about the films included, but it looks right up my street. Awesome. Yeah. Right, everybody ordering it. it looks... Is that a, is that a good... It's 70 quid on Amazon. Is that... No. But Somebody said the pre-order is 55 quid. It's 55 quid on a h and I think. Ah. Oh, I'll have a look now. Seventy quid, that's expensive. It looks fucking it looks fucking well, well Jeff Bezos yeah. can fuck right off at that. That's that's great though. <laughs> that is yeah. great set. Uh, Norm that, normally that, with um Amazon they normally put them up a little bit higher but then drop them a few days afterwards, so I will have to check from now on H and B. Mm. Got two action stars saying still no pods guys or Chinese yet, Pete. I swear I'll order you one and send you a copy of the film if you don't watch it. Mm. I've got the film, you don't need He's to send it. it. Yeah, I will watch it. Oh, bugger it. I will make a vow, I will watch it by the by next week's stream on Scott's stream. So I've got seven days to watch it. Awesome. I'll watch it. If you enjoy it, so, Pete. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it. I won't talk about it if I watch it on Wednesday. I'll leave it till this next Friday so Nigel's here. Because I know, Nigel, you wanted me to watch it, didn't you? Yeah, well, I've, wait, I'm sick of it. I'm getting a fucking sore throat telling you. <laughs> right. I'll leave it till next week and I'll watch it. As for the Chinese, and, the ju jury's still out on that fucker. And also to add to that, I've finally fucking given in. I've paid a fiver for it, but I've ordered Blue Velvet. Okay. Awesome film. There's, there's a oh, what do they call him? He comes on here. I can't remember who he is. He's, he's asked me a couple of times. Have you seen it? Have you? I was like, oh. so I went on eBay. I was like, oh, fiver, bang. I've ordered it. He said, I'm proud of you. Is that the two disc set? I don't know whether this is. I'm not sure what it might be actually. That's a nice set if it is. Cool. Not bad for a fiver, like if it is. That box set of Arrow that looks wonderful. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Awesome stuff. Got Alex saying, first time I watched Red Dead 3, I thought it was a massive letdown. Watched the second time at home and found it pretty disturbing. Always find out with second watches on films like that. That's fair enough. You fell asleep. Got what Matt saying, since when has orgies been scary? Yeah, I thought that earlier on as well, Matt, actually. Yeah. Mm. They are, they are in society. Yeah, they are. Yeah. yeah. I'll definitely have to check this for a man yeah. to see what it's all about. But yeah, yeah sounds right. weird. That's it's my uh, Blu ray of that arrow thing ordered. <laughs> um, <laughs> Where from? I I... HMV, 55 quid instead of 70 on Amazon. I think I might order it tomorrow. Oh, yeah. HMV, yeah. Definitely. Oh, the films are in spots. I wanted oh, to get the. Uh... Oh. I, I wanted to get the I wanted to get the Boyhood 4K because I love that film, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for a little while. Fair enough. Got on it so not made someone I loved off the bat though. Mhm. Mm Got Sam saying I'm hoping to see Big Lebowski at a cinema for its 25th anniversary. One of my fave co um co Coen Brothers film. Um, dudes. Um, Do the bites. Do, do, the bites, do the bites. Yeah, that's what, what I say. Well. soundtrack in that. So many one line as well, too. It's my favourite character. It's a fantastic film. Uh, one of my favourite comedies from the 90s. Um, I'll be back in a minute. I just got to go to the toilet quickly. But, Josh, uh, what did you think of A Big Lebowski? Oh, Big Lebowski is just one of the best. 
comedies. It's one of the best feel-good movies I've ever seen. I laugh at it all the time. When I'm having a shit day, I just put it on. Well, you can see when I'm having a shit then. I did. When I'm having a shit, I just put it on. Well, when, I, when I'm having a shit, I always watch it on the shit box. Yeah, watch it on the shitter. 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 Ooh, wow. Shitter. 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 What the car? Rated shitter. <laughs> I've never seen it. It's gone all quiet. Awkward silences. It's all quiet on the western front. Oh, fuck me, it's woke up. I'm surprised you didn't actually bring out a copy of it. Uh, just like, here you go. I don't have it. Oh. No one does yet. I've got a Blu-ray of it. But... Yeah. All I can do is this. It's a quiet place. Yeah. Anymore. Part two. Okay, I've got the big Lebowski and fucking shock horror. I haven't seen it, and it's it still well. What am I fucking saying? Call me Rupert. I've got it twice. I've got it on DVD, then I've got it on 4K. It's both we still fucking so. I've never seen it, nor do I want to. I've never, I've never fancied it. It's, it's so funny, though. It's so funny. Isn't it something to do with bowling? Yeah, it is. Come yeah. Both of these guys rob uh, Jeff Bridges' house. Well, if you did, I didn't watch it. They rob his house thinking his ne- um, he's a different Lebowski and they're pissing his carpet, and the whole thing is just him getting revenge. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So funny. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm not going to get it after all. I've got the cunt. No. <laughs> Twice. Yeah. What about you, Andy? Have you seen it before? Yeah, the first time I watched it, I really didn't like it, but it's one of my favourite films now. Um, it's worth watching just for John Goodman alone in it. He's just. Oh, you don't like John Goodman? Oh, double whammy. Yeah. Is, is Steve Buscemi in it? Yeah, yeah, he is, yeah. Steve Buscemi. Oh, he's so funny. Yeah. I like Steve Buscemi, but I can't fucking stand John Goodman. Every really? time he talks, wow. John Goodman's like, oh, shut the fuck God, up, no. Donnie. Like, He's wow. a great actor. John Goodman, yeah. Yeah. He's just he's just so funny in that film. Uh, every time Steve Buscemi speaks, John Goodman just says, Shut the fuck up, Donnie. Like you're out, you're out of your element. element. Here he goes, <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Donnie, you're out of your element. And then it just yeah. like and then he just sits there and takes it. Yeah. I can remember John John Goodman was in death sentence, wasn't he? He was great in that. As well, I think he was, yeah. What the Kevin Bacon film? Yeah, sure he was. I love that film. I don't remember that fucker being in it. He's a bloke with the glasses on, like the um, like the weapons merchant bloke. I didn't know. What's up about that? I should have knew that. Now you do. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> now I know. No. No. Got like saying Midsummer is a um Viking festival where everyone gets a day off in Sweden. Huh. Huh. Okay. Got two action stars saying what is the worst Denny film you've seen? Mods needs mums. So bad that one. What the fuck is that? What the oh, that is fuck fucking is that? horrendous. That film is. <laughs> 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 He's made that all. No, yeah, he hasn't. I've seen down. the fucker and it's horrendous. Oh, you seen it, John? Yeah, it's awful. Is that is that a Robert Zemeckis film? Or yeah, that was when something to do with him. The, it's like that CGI. Ugly... Yeah, 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 that was his stage where we did the ugly looking 3D rendering. <laughs> It, I, think it I can awful. remember that one, yeah, but I've never seen her. It, it's one of the biggest flops in history, so it cost 150 mil to make it, only made 30 mil back. Like, nobody, nobody fucking saw it. Seth Green? 
Have you seen it before, Nigel? No, and I don't know what my West Disney film is either, because there's loads of shit ones. All of their yeah. new catalogue, except for the animated Most ones. Of the modern Most ones. of the modern ones, yeah. yeah. And the live-action fucking bollocks. <laughs> but I've never heard of Mars Needs fucking mothers. No. Mars Needs mothers. <laughs> Interesting title, I must admit. What it's not. It gets... Certainly get it bums makes, on it, seat, it does. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Makes me want to avoid it like the fucking Black Plague. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you a shit one. I, I know okay. a good one. Chicken fucking little. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't think the chicken If that film was called that, I would want to see it. Chicken <laughs> fucking little certificate, you. <laughs> Why well, chicken fun. little? <laughs> that was my childhood, that film. Oh, oh, fucking yeah. Yeah. oh that's a fucking rough one. It, it it looks like shite and the fucking little prick eyes oh, annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. don't Florence, like the film. Florence Pugh's ex boyfriend. <laughs> fucking <laughs> little prick. <laughs> oh. Oh shit, I need me a nail about the sounds of it. <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Jamie? What's the worst Disney film you've ever seen? And have you seen Mars Needs Mums? No, I haven't. But as for Disney films, uh, I don't. There's not one that I don't like, as I say. But one of the Disney live action ones isn't very good. I know it. Made you mean shit, all of them? Shit I was of money, and I think it's probably the worst Disney live action film we've had, and that's The Lion King. Oh, that film is fucking shit. Yeah, that film annoys me every bad. time I talk about it. You know. It oh my god. <laughs> it's fucking Spoke it out the wings on that oh. <laughs> Like, I despise that film with a burning fucking passion. Like, oh. Stop Disgusting. drinking. It's fucking shit. I Shy. <laughs> Oh, fuck me, back. Sounds like you're falling me. down a well going shy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Little Jamie fell down the well. Yeah. I'm getting back. What about you, Andy? Yeah, there's there's a really bad patch that Disney had in the 2000s. Mm. Um, well, a lot of yeah. their films were terrible, like Chicken Little, Home on the Range, and The Wild. The oh, Home on the Range. Uh, Home on the Range is probably the worst one. It's mm. it's Roseanne Parr as a cow. Like, <laughs> but well, isn't that a <laughs> cow? <laughs> yeah. And Judy yeah. Dench as well, right? She's no better looking than Madonna. Yeah. It's fucking bad. Like, really bad. Mm. And the villain. Wreck it, the it Ralph, the title sounds shite and all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One of the one of the villains in it is played by Steve Buscemi, and he actually looks like Steve Buscemi the way they do oh. him. Steve Buscemi, oh my god! I didn't even. Oh, oh god, I was a kid really? last time I watched that. I can remember the Wild. That came out about the same time as Madagascar, and that honestly looked yeah. like worse animation than fucking Madagascar. It's it's really bad. Kiefer, Kiefer Sutherland's in that. Yeah. yeah. Mm. They just churn any shite out now, though, don't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wasn't too big on the rescuers either. I find that a bit of a struggle now. Oh, yeah. The original, yeah, what I love the original. One? I think the second uh, one. Oh, yeah, he does look like Steve Buscemi, the bad guy. He's just Buscemi. Steve Buscemi. Like Steve Buscemi. Yeah. <laughs> Steve Buscemi. I can't remember what he fucking said. Now Buscemi. 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 Yeah. Steve. Have you ever seen uh, Steve at... Semi? Who's Steve Semi? Steve Semi. Steve Semi. Steve Semi. The way he's sad. Yeah, he does kind of look like him in a way. Yeah. Yeah. Is it the cowboy with the hat? I'll see. No. If I can find an image. What yeah. did you say that? Oh, yeah. oh my <laughs> god. I've just realised, I've just looked it up, The Wild is directed by a guy called Steve Spaz. Spaz <laughs> William. <laughs> oh. Steve oh Spaz Williams. Andy, 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 you have to find that uh, Steve Buscemi character and take a snapshot. Oh. oh. <laughs> 
Wasn't there one in the mid two thousands called Meet the Robinsons as well? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah that's not actually that bad. But that's Steve Buscemi, isn't it? Oh, my God. God. oh. It just actually it looks like him as well. It does. Oh, oh, mate. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't be happy if I was Steve Buscemi. <laughs> <laughs> William Shatner's in the wild. Fuck me. Oh, William like Shatner and Spaz. <laughs> William Shatner fans. Stop saying Spaz. No, the, the director's name is literally called Spaz. Stop no, it. Fucking... But, um, is that a horror yeah, film called Spaz Spaz. Oh. spaz. I forgot to mention what I uh, watched earlier when we were talking about what we've been watching recently, so I'll go through those quickly and then move on to the next comment. Uh, I watched um, Night at Roxbury finally and thought that was awesome. Absolutely loved that film. So funny. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. And, of course, that famous song, What is love? Don't (laughs) don't hurt me. (laughs) No, Yeah. I I fucking love that song. (laughs) Yeah, classic. Yeah. I oh, fucking God. hate that song, but I like your version. <laughs> I do, yeah. It's played, it's played like every two minutes in that movie, I think. Oh, God. Yeah, it's played quite often, yeah. Yeah, it's like every like five minutes that movie, that, that song's played in the movie. It fits the tone of a movie so well, though, yeah. I think. It's, it's, like it's sponsored great, by it, it, it seems like. Yeah, that was such a fun movie. That was really enjoyed that. I also watched for the first time the first um. Brendan Fraser Mummy film, which I thought oh, was absolutely amazing. I, I love them. That film. Have you watched Mummy Returns yet? No, um, but I do plan to watch that the best one? Mummy yeah. Returns is one of the best sequels ever. It's amazing. Awesome. I've got, a, I've got a film with Brendan Fraser to watch called The Scout from like 1994. Oh. Mm. It's like a oh, cool. movie, but yeah, I'm going to get that watch at the weekend. I think I tried the original Brendan Fraser one and I couldn't sit through it. Oh, I love it. I struggle, I'll be honest with you, I struggle with the Hammer and the Universal ones, and for me, they're the best ones. I think the Mummy films are always dead slow, and I don't like that Egyptian setting at the beginning and that. Oh. Mm-hmm. Give me Draclia and the Wolfman and Frankenborn Draclia. any day. Frank- Count Draclia. Oh. And Frankenborn and, and stuff. Yeah, awesome stuff. And uh, I also watched where we called Dad Sing as well for the first time today, which Ooh. I thought was decent but not great. It was definitely a very slow moving movie, that's for sure, but um, quite a decent it's film fun. at the same time. Uh, yeah, I saw that film. It's a good Did looking movie. Watch? It's a good yeah, looking it's... movie, but it's just. It looks nice. Yeah. It's it's just a bunch of men floating over to a fucking camp house. Like, Is it based on a book end? A hooker. A boat. It's fucking ribbon. There's literally so many scenes of guys floating over on a boat to a camp house being like, I love you, I love you. It's like, fuck off. Fuck you, now it sounds like... It, it happens crazy. for like two hours. Some fucking riveted already, yeah. It sounds like a Netflix <laughs> drama. It... Mm. Sounds like fuck all on earth. I thought I'd rather watch Coronation Street. <laughs> Don't mention that fucker, is he on? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not on, Nigel. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> like Jabba the Hutt letting one off. <laughs> I fucking look like Jabba the Hutt letting one off. Jabba the slut. Oh, hey, does anybody want to report me tonight? Oh, stop oh, it. Oh. <laughs> Have a belly button, you cunt. <laughs> this is done. Report that. Oh. I'm going to get taken down. Okay. <laughs> do you see my ass as well? No. Oh. <laughs> hey, no. No, thanks. <laughs> moving on. Yeah, moving on. Also, um, move, um, moving on to the next subject, just wanted to quickly say, glad you enjoyed them. Um, I learning by the way, Andy. Oh yeah, thanks, Scott. Yeah, it was great that film. Fucking loved it. Yeah. Brutal, but yeah, loved it. Mm. What? High learning. What? High learning. Yeah. 
<laughs> Work says we about with Russian Easter traditions the fucking word, especially the cock cake. Something oh, I like that's, that the can't be really. Get, get that googled. Have a cupcake. You know what? Come on. You don't have to. You put Russian cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that what they serve round the Dow's house? Sounds like it. Probably. <laughs> the cake is hot cake. After their they minge make and mash. They really tall cake and put two Easter eggs in. Minge and mash. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's adult. That's it. That is a cock cake, but it's not about Russia. How to make cock cakes on YouTube? <laughs> oh, it's an actual thing. What the fuck? The video they make have cock cakes. I wonder if they have like one of those little restaurant like how to make cards in Tesco tomorrow. I'll have a look for cock. I cakes. think it's like yeah. cock as in chicken cock. <laughs> Chicken they make cock. one really tall cake and put two Easter eggs on the side, so can I be? Yeah, look. I look yeah. Fuck all like look a cock cock. Look. Oh, look at that, there it is. I Show them. Can't. Oh, not again. Oh, uh. I could have showed you the next one. It's an yeah. actual cock. <laughs> Give me an actress. You'd like to muff to have the same one you asked us the other day, probably. Now. But yeah, I think he did ask You asked the same shit. We asked every time. Work. Got right saying the town that I live in South Wales had a suicide cult in 2007 to 2008. Ian Watkins was heavily involved oh, and st God. still haunts the town to this No day. way. Wow. Is that true? I honestly not sure. I have no idea. But that's... I have no words to say. No, no, no. We got right saying also can um, Danish tourists stop. Coming in and asking people about the cult, it really is. Yeah, I'd move on, Scott. Yeah. Yeah. That... Got Matt saying that AJ did say hello to everyone before plugging your streams. <laughs> Got Sam saying know. what's everyone's favourite band and artist. Great question, Sam. Um, maybe a Beatles for me. I think they're my favourite band. Absolutely adore Beatles music. I've uh, done some fantastic songs. Favourite singer, Tom Petty for me. Absolutely adore Tom Petty. What about you, Josh? Phoebe Bridges, obviously, for artist. Or Fra either that or Frank Ocean right now. Frank Ocean's like... I've, I've been listening mm -hmm. to him a lot. Uh, Kendrick Lamar as well. But in terms of bands, Silk Sonic's up there. I like Silk Sonic a lot. Young Fathers. Young Fathers are pretty high up. So there's quite a few bands I listen to, but I mainly just listen to separate artists than I do bands. Awesome, no worries. Uh, what about you, Laura and Nigel? My favourite artist is David Bowie, without a shadow of a doubt, and band would be Motley Crue. Good choices. What about you, Nigel? For band, I bet you can't guess in a million years. Spice Girls. <laughs> and for artist, I'm gonna go with old Slack Flaps herself there, Avril. What are you talking about me then? <laughs> Avril Mega Minge Levine. Mega Minge. I'll tell you what, we sold a few of her records today. So a new did. album's called The Bollard Swallower. Oh. Oh. It's, an, it's a concept yeah. album about a uh, minge. Oh. What about you, Jamie? Uh, my favourite band ever is The Killers. Oh. <laughs> what about um, artists? I don't, I don't think I've got a favourite artist. The castle. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Speaking awesome. of painting, they're doing uh, a film out there with Owen Wilson. What the fuck? What? Doing yeah, he's playing a f yeah. fictional version of Bob Ross. Yeah, yeah, that's it, Bob Ross. That's it. With I was not about fucking paint, I was joking. <laughs> 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 Oh, my favourite male artist would be Sting. I forgot about him. Mm. So there's a male and a female for you. 
also great choices. I just what listen to you? so much music, it's hard what to pick. Not a sting. B. Oh. oh. What? No. what did you just say? It's in the bottle. Yeah. Yeah. Fat yeah. cunt. <laughs> What about you, Pete? Um, I don't know. Probably the Queen, uh, Queen or the Beatles. They're they're pretty good. The Queen. Uh, the Queen. <laughs> we had some hits back in the day. <laughs> One or two. Um, what about? I nearly said actresses, but artists. I I don't really know. Well, well another band is Blondie. I do like them. And artists, I'll say. Pat Benatar, quite like a. Well, you said Billy Ocean, didn't you, Josh? I was like, what's I said fuck, Frank Billy Ocean, o- you tear. Billy Ocean! Billy fucking Ocean! You never did anything in a song! Yeah, but I've heard of him. Fucking <laughs> Billy Ocean colour scene! <laughs> I know who Billy Ocean is. <laughs> do you like Billy Ocean to be fair? Yeah, oh, yeah really hurts so about you guys. The way you go and get stuff. Apparently, that's what it sounds like when you listen to it. A misheard lyric. What, what's the other one? Uh, red light means danger. Spells. 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 Danger. And love really air without you. Yeah. That's a good song. Oh yeah. <laughs> Caribbean Queen. Mm. So Caribbean the Queen. <laughs> the Queen. The Caribbean Queen. Yeah. Personally, I think he's shit, but there you go. I don't mind him. No, he's shit. Have you heard of him? No, I would just say. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Shite>. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. He's shit, but I've never heard of him. <laughs> but Pete, listen to Frank Ocean. Like, his music. Like he's one of the highest regarded R and B artists of all time at this point. Oh, he's oh, very... you've lost me now. R and B. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's not. I wouldn't say it's rap at all. It's not rap. Oh. Like R and B usually is. It's completely different. And I'm, I'm going to be doing a video on him. So. Oh well, I'll look at your video and decide what I think of him. I thought he was a boxer at first, or Billy what? Ocean or something. What? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> You bring out all these names, they sound like random people. I've never fucking heard of them. They could work in the local Morrisons for all I know. <sighs> Frank Ocean versus Joe Bugner. <clears throat> this court. Frank Ocean. Yeah. Never seen him before. He must be part of the yo, yo, crew. I remember when Aaron Beast was for rhythm and blues, like as in like old yeah. rhythm and blues, like BB King and all that type of stuff. No, yeah, trust me, he's not. Um... Now it ra- now it must stand for rap and bollocks. Mm. <laughs> all the, all, yeah, half of the rapping songs are all about shagging, and I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, yeah, and the other half's about the N word, which I can't say because but they're mm. all right saying it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's what my dad Your said. Your N word, I fuck your girl. <laughs> the end. Yeah, we, my dad said that. He said they were right to say yeah. it, but everyone else isn't. It's, it's weird. True. Mm. Not that I would call anybody, but if if you'd say, like, no, do you know no, what no, he no. called him and just in a conversation? Yeah. You can't even yeah. say the word, like, just as you're explaining stuff, it's ridiculous, but they can they can go around saying it like the word bread. Yeah. If it's, it's offensive, like... nobody nobody should be allowed to say it. Yeah, I'm 100% that behind is. that, because it is a horrible word. Yeah. It is, yeah, yeah. yeah. But R&B, there's... The stuff I listen to isn't isn't just like oh I'm gonna fuck your mom or fuck your girl or whatever. I'm gonna like, fuck you, it's, like, <laughs> it's good shit. Even though it's that is shit. part of it, I'm gonna fuck like, your mom. No, it's good <laughs> shit. Your dad with a dildo shaped cheese grater. Oh, 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 oh. oh. oh I hurt oh, myself by thinking of that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, fucking hell. Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen these speakers? They look like ball gags. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
It's not really a speaker. It is. <laughs> Don't be giving them any more fucking ideas. Uh, what about you, Andy? What's your favourite? Thanks, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> These pauses, right? In between, when we all shut up, we've got to watch a fucking film before the next one speaks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fav favourite band of all time is the Beatles, without a shadow of a doubt. Mm. And um, artists, I love Bob Dylan. Um, and um, Billy Idol as well. Um, he's got some oh. banging tunes. Eyes Without a Face is my favourite song by him. Great song. Um, yeah. I absolutely love White Wedding and um, Rebel Yell. Oh, I fucking love Rebel Yell. Yeah. Such a great song. I do like Eyes Without well. a Face as well, man. I love Sweet Sixteen as well. That's a fucking amazing, that one. fucking amazing song. Have you had any Generation X stuff? Uh, well, Dancing, I mean, dan Dancing with Myself, is it? Yeah. That one? Yeah, King Rocker is a belter by Generation X. Yeah. Like my Spotify is just full of random shit. Like I've been listening to Rosalia m most of the time, which is like a Spanish. Rosemary. <laughs> Rosalia, she's she's Spanish. Like oh. her albums are in full Spanish. She doesn't speak English at all, pretty much. Like all of her interviews, you would think she would speak English. She does, but she's amazing. Her music's great. That's cool. Oh, uh, one thing I like about your videos, Josh, you give me an education in these music artists. I'll be like, yeah, I haven't got a who the fuck is that, but I watch Josh videos and I know what they are. <laughs> yeah. Well, you wait. This week's upload is going to be a music one, so. Uh, an education in music. Education. Education. <laughs> Who are they? Is that what you're trying to work at McDonald's? We're going to give you an education. <laughs> what songs did they sing? <laughs> <laughs> you clearly education. weren't educated, Pete. Fucking <laughs> oh. hell. Education. Education. Oh, my Idiot. Uh, you know, Pete is a very good speaker and even better reader. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, He's oh, I am. He's educated. Oh, yeah. Move on. There's too much yeah. of a fucking silence. I'm blind. I don't want to be fucking deaf at all. <laughs> Hi, then. Forgot that. What? The Beatles. 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 And we've got Sod Robson saying, Mike, no, yeah, it's a good Tom Cruise film. Glad you enjoy it, mate. Got Sam saying, superb band. Definitely, I agree. Mm. Got Lewis Smith saying, in it for you for Vampire, that's been my favourite Tom Cruise film. It's a I decent love that. movie. That's a good film. I have watched it. I've got it, but I've not watched it. All right, Pete. Oh, you are, Pete. <laughs> well, shockingly, I've got it and I've watched it. I've seen it. Holy mother of fucking God. I like that. Are you I know, miracles do fucking happen. I do watch films I buy. Bloody hell. Rarely, but yes. Are you sure, are you sure you're feeling all right today, considering you fucking watched it? Because you usually no. don't. Oh, well, I mm. do watch them. Shockingly, I do watch some films. I should do a collection video and show you the films that I have actually watched. It's not as bad as I thought. All three of them. Yeah, the last about two seconds. <laughs> I've seen this. Thanks for watching. <laughs> no, actually, I think I've seen about 80% of the films that I bought, shockingly. And how many do you well, have? You almost have a big one, what, million? Do you have, like, one million of them or some shit? Because you haven't seen shit. I've seen more than you. <laughs> Nah, nah, nah. That's bigger than you. I've seen one of you. Another Barney. Yeah, it's been Friday night. Pete, isn't it? Not you. I've seen Friday night. That's one thing. <laughs> uh, mind you, after a massive campaign to watch it, it took fucking long enough. <laughs> mm. right. uh -huh. I had to start a petition online for Pete to fucking watch it. Mm. <laughs> I, I have, but it's not one of my favourites. I've got to admit, it's. Oh. He's gone. Did we scare him off? 
It was gone. Our paint's gone. Yeah. No, I'm so glad you told me. I didn't know. <laughs> it's taking fun. Got Sam saying, I watched Sass Action Hero. I thought it was a very fun film. I would recommend the 4K by Ray Night. Excellent transfer. And I think it's only 11 99 in HMV at a minute. Wow. Most of us No, it's uh, Annie. She wasn't oh. again. It's I've never seen it, but I've, I've always wanted to, funny enough. Mm-hmm. It's a film within a film. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I wouldn't mind getting it if it was a, a cover within a slip cover. Then I'd probably get it. But the thing that makes me laugh is, you know, the bit in Last Action Hero when he goes in Blockbuster and he sees the... No, because I haven't fucking seen it. But basically, he goes into a DVD film shop, Arnie. Don't spoil it. And he sees a cardboard cutout of Terminator 2. And obviously, because of the film, the can't have Arnie in it because it's like advertising in it. So it's still best to still learn as Terminator 2. <laughs> I need to motherfucker watch it now. He's told me everything I'm that happens. I'm convinced he'd laugh if his ass was on fire. He would. <laughs> I would. You've lost me, Jamie. You've lost me. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Go to actually start saying who is your favourite bargain hunt presenter. Oh, there's another recycled one. Ed with the black hair and the glasses. Oh. None of them, they're all cunts. <laughs> Scott, just get rid of it. Yeah, we'll do. We don't fucking know. Yeah. Eastwood's um, for an eye fan. Hello, Carlos, mate. Hope you're doing well. Same. Hi, Scott, Pete, uh, Mike, and guests. Anybody say t- uh, t- um, the Tulsa King? I just got the yeah. series on Blu ray, bootleg. Then Paramount um, announces a release for June. We'll start at weekend. Oh, that's awesome. the learn, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I bet it's really good. I bet it's really good as well, to be fair. Have you seen it, Josh? Nope, don't plan to. No worries. Have you seen it before, Nigel? I don't even know. Nope, don't plan to. I've never even fucking heard of it. No okay. worries. What? what about you, Brian? Really? Really? <laughs> I am. <laughs> I'm glad you have. <laughs> oh, God, that's one of the best answers that I love that. Really? Yeah. Oh, I have. Yeah, that yeah, was good. <laughs> you planning to watch it, Andy? Nah, probably not. Nah, no worries. <laughs> Got a um, match chat saying best in the world and maybe Joe Dolce all together. <laughs> okay. Fucking oh, oh, oh. hell. <laughs> I can't abide it. What a matter you all got no respect. <laughs> like he was sat right. What a pile of shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To be fair. And we've got um, Eastwood for Life fans saying um, Arnie has um, a spy a- action comedy Netflix series, um, Fuba. Mm. Fubber? 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 Just don't know, yeah. mate. UK looks like little two lies. Awesome. I, I think I've heard about this, to be fair, but mm-hmm. I don't know um, much about it. Um, what about you, Josh? That's the first I've ever heard of a fubber or a fubber or whatever I like. You big fubber. <laughs> oh. It sounds like a disease. You've yeah, got fubber. Um, well, the doctor's not got a bad case of fubber. Fubber. <laughs> Oh, Have you heard of it before, Nigel or Laura? No. No. Jamie? No. Uh. Andy? <laughs> no, I thought I thought it kind of sounded like Fubar, which is what they say in um, Tango and Cash. Oh, oh yeah. That's fucked up beyond all recognition. But... Ah, I wonder what that stood for. Yeah. I knew it meant something. Yeah. Got um side Robson saying Christina Tarragon is the best bargain. is the best bargain I presented for me. Fair enough. Christina Tranion. Got some some good choices there. Christina Semion. And oh. we got um Steve saying Class 1984 and Savage Streets are two of my favourite non horror films. 
I've always wanted to see Savage Street. I think it's got, uh, hasn't it got Linda Blair in? It's yeah. amazing. I fucking love Savage Street. Oh, it's brilliant. Can Lana you get it over again? No, I got mine imported, but it's got Lana Quigley in it as well. And Linda Blair. I like Blair. it as well. It's, it's brilliant. I fucking love it. Love that film. Who released that over there, not Screen Factory? No, I can't remember who's done it. Um, hang on a second. Is it a Blu-ray you've got or a DVD? Blu-ray. Oh, nice. Um, I'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to check, see if uh, Pete's all right or if he's uh, free to come back. Hello, Ben, is Right. Uh, Savage Street. It's a company called Code Red. Oh, that's, that's probably why you can't still get it then. Yeah, that's, that's the cover of it. They drop a title, and if you don't get it quick, they're gone. There's one there, but... And it's got a reversible DVD. art as well. That's the reversible art on it. I think that's the one I saw originally on the VHS, the other one. The reversible one. There's Blu-ray, but it's... Fucking amazing film. Yeah. Is it kind of like a female cast of Death Wish, something like that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, it's... Exactly. it's yeah. Yeah, look, Teenage Mutant Ninja Six Revenge on a group of valid bugs who raped her. Oh! Yeah. That does sound Oh, like wow, that does. The, fuck, the only thing I don't like about it is the villain looks like fucking Fagel Sharky. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, they, oh, what an unfortunate twat. <laughs> yeah. It's like once you see the villain, it's like you can't you can't not see Fergal Sharky. It's just like... You, you keep being, once gonna, you see the villain, you keep going, A good heart! Yeah. <laughs> he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna fucking break out with a fucking good heart. It's hard to find in a minute. Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy! Oh! <laughs> What's this about a guitar? Have you seen Savage Streets, Scott? I have, yeah. Yeah, we just said the villain looks like fucking Fagel Sharky. Hey, I'm back. I'm back. Hey, I'm back. Where the hell did you go? Internet was being a cunt. What, again? Yeah. And I needed a piss. Now, what's your other two excuses before the stream ends? Cup of oh, tea. I'll have to, th I'll have to think about them and then tell you at the end. <laughs> yeah, Cup just of tea don't do a Tommy Tank. Just don't do a Ryan and just disappear for 20 minutes and just say, oh, I'm going to go. You know? Just but no, no Jimmy does Josh. that funny. Where did he... Uh, he just keeps fucking off. <laughs> Jimmy. But yeah, Savage Street. His head's going to pop up. There oh! we go. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell, it's making, it's making hereditary tolerable. <laughs> <laughs> True. Oh, my God. God. Damn. Yeah, I need to have a look for that. See what it is on eBay. Savage Street's Blu-ray. I bet it's about £2,000. It's on Amazon yeah, for £24. It's Blu-ray. Yeah, it is? It's, so it's really good. expensive, but it's yeah. really good. I heard yeah. you were on about Fergal Sharky. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, if, you, if, you watch, if you watch the first, if you watch this, the villain in it is the is a fucking dead ringer for Fergal Sharky. Yeah. You just think he's he's just gonna fucking break out with a good heart? It's hard to find. Oh, God. He walks on screen and goes, "A good heart, these days are hard to find. A good heart." You fucking know he comes. Yeah. And then the next part he goes, Jimmy, Jimmy! Oh! Yeah. Oh, that's oh, that's nice. oh, my perfect cousin! No slip kiss by the looks of a cold oh, red. Oh, no, it's a do. He doesn't. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Does he? <laughs> hey, do 24 quid the cold red? What on? Where? Amazon. Amazon? Oh, I'd, oh, I'd get it if you, if you, yeah, it's it's brilliant. I fucking love it. You're, has yours got a slip? No. Nah. No, I don't think that, I don't think many cold reds do. Uh, if any, just the artwork. That's and artwork on the disc. That's it. Oh wow! I didn't even know it was out on Blu-ray. You know. Yeah. I don't know the sound of it though. It, it might be region locked. I can't remember, but it's I don't yeah, really, really good. See now that is a thing worth I think blind mm. buying. Mm. Yeah. I I blind bought it and I was just blown away by it. I just thought, crap. Oh, yeah, that's I, blind one, I loved it. Linda Blair's a badass in that film. 
She is, yeah, she is such a badass. Back in, like, uh, you see a fair bit of her in it as well. Like, she's like, mm. pretty naked yeah. in the movie, but yeah, it's fucking. I was going to say, when you see a fair bit, do you mean a fair purse? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and as well. So, yeah. Did she flash her tuppence? Yeah, get the cunt ordered. Yeah. <laughs> but she's she's such a badass in it. She's just it's like you know Ellen Ripley or Sarah Connor. She's just fucking badass. Wow. Mm. She just takes no shit. That a bit though. Have you seen Hell Night, Andy? Yes. I like it. I think I think that's such a good film. I didn't mind it. I didn't mind I'm it. Like I mean, it medieval. wasn't the greatest film ever, but I really, really did enjoy it. Yeah, because that's that. Apart from The Exorcist, that was the only other thing I really knew her from. There's one I would like to see. Um, you can't get it if you. It, it was only released in America on DVD, and to get it, it's about 40, 50 quid for a DVD. And I think she gets abused in it or something. And I'm sure she goes like either in some sort of. Female Borsley place or a prison or something. More is it? Uh, yeah, I can't remember what it's called. Mm. Uh, if you if you tell if you tell me her uh, films after The Exorcist, I'll be able to tell you. I'll but I'm I'll surprised I'll it hasn't had a, a more up to date release. Born Innocent. Born, Born Innocent. Innocent. That's it. 1974 as well. Hey. Oh, fucking hell. What? Have you seen Savage Streets? Unfortunately, I haven't seen Savage Streets, but it sounds really good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really good. I recommend it. Got two action stars saying me and the wife are actually going to give um, this Dungeons and Dragons a go tomorrow afternoon. Could be okay. You know what? Enjoy it. What do you mean? You're going to put your dragon in their dungeon? I think it's some BDSM movie. <laughs> <laughs> the man fucking boggles, do not it? <laughs> He's going to put his... <laughs> Got to actually start saying Anne wasn't, isn't very impressed with my comment, but her husband found it funny. I guess I'll go and take it. Is on the tape web? A woman would make a fish market semi-fresh. <laughs> I'll smell the fresh, but he can't fucking smell. Oh your my friendships, God. Your friendships are ruined. Oh, <laughs> your fault, bro. I think he's just got seven personalities. Nah, I dread to think what you lot are doing. What? Hello, everyone. Drop God to the boss. Play Tendo asked you and the missus for a threesome yet. No, but give it time. What? <laughs> the accents there. I dread to think what they're what them all doing. Down. I'll tell you I what, the... I knew Scott would stop. <laughs> <laughs> These streams get more and more concerning by the week. They certainly yeah. do. I'm, I'm, I'm judging my sanity here. <laughs> <laughs> we got Baddy Tennant in here. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Saying hello, everyone. At Rodgold 2004, as played Tendo Guy, asked you in the message for a threesome yet. I've just read that out, so you fucking didn't have to. <laughs> You just read the fucker out. What? Read. Uh, I like, said, oh, I've read that out because I knew Scott the... had stopped and he goes, all right, yeah, then goes and reads the cunt. I don't know what is going on. I don't know whether it's, it's the it stream or, or it's uh... the cunt next door smoking wacky backy, but jeez. Oh. <laughs> 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 Might be a bit of bear. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember to big up to actually start at oh. point, so I'm going to skip it. Do it. Okay. Moving on. He's, he's there you go. One. It's Ryan who wanked. It's Ryan who wanked Ted. Okay. What? Interesting. Oh, Got Matt Chat saying some guy who made Carson 1984 made another one called Carson 1999. It's good fun. There we go. Yeah. See? They are really both, both really good. Yeah. Mark Cal Lester, wasn't it, who directed those two films? Mm. I think. Yes, it was, yeah. Mm. Two great films, definitely. Uh, we got Carl saying, any takers on Second Sight's 4K uh, collector's release of a changing in? Underrated 80s horror movie. 
I don't know who's um, doing a 4K collector's release of that, to be fair, but I have seen the film before, and I do um, quite enjoy it a lot. So it would be quite cool to um, get that, to be fair. What about you, Josh? Skip me. Okay. <laughs> what about you, Nigel? Hmm. Um, I've heard of that film since the video rental days at school and everybody at school was going mad for it. And I only got to see it about two years ago. I think I got about 35 minutes into it and I had to turn it off because I was bored out my skull. I might give it another go because people keep telling me it's good. Uh, John actually gave me a, a Blu-ray of it to watch and I haven't watched it yet. Maybe I should give it another go. Yeah, give it another mm -hmm. go. But the end, I mean, the beginning was brutal, the opening scene in the snow. Um, and then when he's going to that house, it just lost me. I was like, oh, fuck me. This is like watching paint dry this. I don't know what it was, but everybody goes on about how oh, good it is. So maybe, yeah, I should give it, give it another go. I've not seen it. George C. Scott. Uh -huh. Um. I did get a message about it being announced today. I haven't heard of the film. I'll give it a look on the trailers or something, but I'm not not overly certain. I don't think it comes out until June or July. Mm -hmm. It's George C. Scott's in it. Oh. Yeah, he is, yeah. What about you, Jamie? No, I've not even seen the first sight, not let alone the second sight. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, man! I'm trying. I'm looking for another film I haven't used. What about you, Andy? Um, I will be getting the second sight 4K because uh, I didn't really like the film that much. I thought it was okay. But just wow! Great. I'm so glad somebody else has said it. I just thought, yeah, a bit like you, Nige. I just thought it was a bit. I just thought it was all right. Just, just nothing special. I just thought. It was Did you right. manage to get through it totally? Yeah, yeah. I watched it all. I think I watched, well, I watched that and I watched Extra on the same day. Fucking hell! Well, that's a bit of a shock. Oh, fuck <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I just, I just thought it was okay. George C. Scott was probably the best thing about it. I've only seen Extra once, and that was in the eighties. I thought it was absolutely abysmal. Yeah, it's all, it's all, all over the place. That film. But I need to get it because it's a fucking nasty, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. It's a good transfer, like, on the Blu-ray. Hmm. I need to watch it. Sell it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got bad lieutenant saying loss in saw loss in translation recently. I didn't understand the fuss about it. Slow bit. I um, couldn't understand it. Oh. <laughs> Please, you fucking selves. <laughs> we got Matt Chat saying the Guardian by William Friedkin. No, I like the sound of them. Oh. oh, there you go. Oh, Somebody's eating sweeties. Josh. Yeah, me. I can hear rattly papers. Is that you, Joshy Watchy? Yeah, chocolate peanuts. I'm hungry. Oh, you greedy cunt. <laughs> we got Ian saying, What is your favourite film which is set at Seaside? Mine would be St. Maud in Scarborough. I still need to see that film, actually. but... Oh, Saint Maud filmed in Scarborough. <laughs> is it? Why is it filmed? Scarborough. <laughs> Guess how far I live from Scarborough. Sixty-three million miles. About half an hour. I'm about half oh, an hour from Scarborough. You're close to sixty million miles, then. Nice. I don't know what my favourite film set at Seaside is. I can't I even think. No, I can't. What it's about you, Josh? Seaside. Um, the one. Set at Seaside? Yeah. Is there any? Oh, fucking. Wish you were Brighton um, Rock? Would that be one? Quadrophenia? Five yes, Children and It. Banshee Yours will be period. Quadrophenia, Josh. Ed. Scott. Quadrophenia is mm. Even you're getting me mixed up. I'll go with yeah. that as well, to be fair. What was that you said? Sorry, Andy, Banshee's have been a shearer. Yeah, does that count? I guess yeah. so. Oh, yeah. Bad swimmers have a shit. <laughs> <laughs> the Banshee's had a shit? What? <laughs> five, five squirrels have a shit? Does that count? <laughs> Banshee's of inner shearing. Mine's Sharon. 
film. This. Oh, here we go. That, that is the seaside. Yeah. What, what we oh. did on our holiday with David Tennant and Billy That film's okay. I've seen so it before. So I don't mind it. Yeah. It's got Billy Connolly. It's got Rob and Pike in. Yours, yeah, man. Yes, yeah. that's a good George. one. A good one? I it's think you'll one. find it's the finest film ever released, young man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's up there. After Obviously, after Half the Squirt. Half the Squirt. Oh. Nice. What's yours, Pete? Uh, I've said Brighton <laughs> Rock, the original oh. and the remake. I don't mind the remake. Mm -hmm. I've not it's seen awesome. it. What's your favourite, Jamie? I don't know. They're the only one I can... There's not really that many films that I like filmed at the beach. What's the carry on? One where they go away for the day on the works, do. Carry on at your convenience. That one. No worries, Jamie. Uh, what about you, Andy? Yeah, just Banshees of Oshearing. Yeah, I'd Big probably choice. pick that one. Banshees with Ed Sheeran. Banshees with Ed Sheeran. There is one. There is screams the eighteen. There is one that comes to mind, but it's so simple. The beach. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It's set on the beach, isn't it? <laughs> is it? No, it's set in a pantry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking plane tree. <laughs> I've not actually seen a beach before, to be fair. I need to uh, watch it. You haven't seen a beach before, or the yeah. beach? Well, I thought you said the beach. Yeah. Um, got um, here, bad lieutenant saying, I've got a rock original. Awesome. Oh, that's got a rough ending. We got Quentin Tarantino hit 60 a few ah. days ago. Top three Tarantino movies and why? Oh. Great question. Oh, fuck. He's, 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 he's 60. Oh, fucking hell. And his wife turned 27. No, I'm kidding. You're 12. Wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> uh, yeah, we had a kid with like a 20 year old or something. Reservoir Dogs is up there, definitely. Pulp Fiction and Django and Chains are probably my three favourites. Mm -hmm. Um, but rest of our dogs, I just find really entertaining for, for some reason, I, and I can mm -hmm. uh, watch it quite often. So that's uh, why it's in my top three. Um, Pulp Fiction, just such an amazing film. The dialogue in it is absolutely brilliant, and the reacting is mm -hmm. fantastic. And Django and Chains is just awesome. One of my favourite westerns. Um, that scene mm -hmm. with Leonardo DiCaprio when he smashes the glass is just epic. What a scene that is. And also mm. the ending is awesome as well. So yeah, that's uh, why those are my top three. What about you, Josh? Uh, so number one might be Pulp Fiction. Number two, Inglorious Bastards. That opening scene is one of the best opening scenes of all time. And then number three, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That film is just so fun. Mm. Uh, I haven't seen it. It's really fun. It's just a hangout movie, but it's a really pretty hangout movie. And it's funny as well. Awesome choices, Josh. What about you, um, Laura and Nigel? Ooh. Mine are Kill Bill, yeah. Death Proof, and Jackie Brown. Well, mine would be both, both Kill Bills. I always, pick, I always treat Kill Bill as one film because he does as well. Even though yeah. the greedy bastard release it as two separate say, ones, he always classes it as one film. And Pulp Fiction's a classic, so. I didn't mind, it's Hateful Eight is. Yeah. I didn't mind the Hateful Eight, that was, I enjoyed that. She means the Hateful Eight, the pronounced eight <laughs> up here. <laughs> hateful Eight. Yeah, great choices. What about you, Pete? Especially mine. As you know, I haven't seen many of them, so it's got to be in third place, Kill Bill Volume 2, <laughs> then Reservoir Dogs, then Jackie Brown. You have actually only seen Kill Bill Volume 2, haven't you? Wow. Yeah, I know. And you know, Volume 1's far better. 
Yeah, I know. I need to pick it up. I need to find a copy of it and get Why it. Why did you watch volume two before volume one? What the fuck if I know? Because I was only about a six. Ass. Because I was only about six at the time. Six. You had no right watching that when you're six. But that just put any old fucking shit on he did. Three <laughs> man. Six. Did he put Cannibal Holocaust on when you were seven? He probably no, would do if he could. He probably would do. He thought fucking a razor head was a Laurel and Hardy thing and thought, here you go, Pete, watch that fucker. Here you go, Pete, watch that fucker. That'll keep you quiet for an hour and a half. <laughs> keep you quiet for the rest of your life. Oh. I've seen quite a lot of like, weird, violent films when I was a kid. My dad just like, oh, fuck it, I don't care, as long as he's quiet. <laughs> <laughs> the joys of a close parenthood. Oh. What about you, Jamie? Um, I do like Tarantino, but I'm not like a hardcore fan. You're not hard. <laughs> I'm not it's in the good director, but I'm gonna get hurt for this. I do feel he's overhyped as a director. Mm. I mm. think he is way overhyped as a director. Actually, so do I. Yeah. So for his three best, I think I'd probably say Kill Bill. I love Kill Bill. Uh Probably Pulp Fiction, and I think Django. Oh, that was the worst part of time in Hollywood. I was, I earn it. I, I really wanted to watch it because obviously it's got DiCaprio in it. He's my favorite actor ever, and I was kind of a bit skeptical mm. about. It. I was kind of mixed, but I wanted to watch it, and I, I watched part of it because I fell asleep. And when I watched, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm gonna be like. You fell asleep. I think I watched about half an hour of it or 20 odd minutes and it just didn't really do it for it me. Didn't, but didn't really quite catch you, did it? No, it, it just felt like uh, it felt like an episode of a TV series or something like that. It just, <laughs> but I'm going to give it another go anyhow and watch it all the way through. Is that Once Upon a Time in America? Hollywood. Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood. sorry. That fucked my head in the the end of that. The way that they... I'm not going to say what, I but the whole Charles Manson family issue at the end, I was like, what the fuck? I thought it was quite um, interesting. Oh, it oh, was, but it just like me messed with my head because at the time I was um, watching a hell of a lot of Charles Manson uh, documentaries and stuff. When I watched that, I went, huh? Elvis is in it, Austin Butler. Mm. Oh, I see. Yeah. I'm not gonna tell you who he is because it's potential spoiler, but he he's in it. Sure. I need to watch That's it again then. I might so, give it a watch then. I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. I just found it a bit strange in parts. The soundtrack to that film is unbelievable. I love the soundtrack to it. Awesome. What about you, Andy? Yeah, Pulp Fiction number one, then Django, then the two Kill Bills. Great choices. I've got to admit, like he's never made a bad film yet. No, no, he hasn't. He hasn't. There's not many no, directors who can say that about, and he's not like my favorite director, but he's not made a bad one. I've, I've heard he's saying after his last film because he's finished That's writing it. this last film, he's going to go to TV and even writing books. Yeah, I'm gonna move on if he's sixty. He said, and quote, when it comes to movies, I'm phoning in the towel after this one. So he's done. He says that, he's and in 10 years' time, he'll come back. But, 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 the but, thing is, like, but, 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 there were all these uh things going around saying, oh, he's gonna direct a Star Trek film and this and that, and I was like, it, it could. <laughs> Star Trek to <laughs> him. Jamie, you realise that was years ago. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Any excuse to mention your science fiction bollocks, isn't it? His <laughs> last film, the last film yeah. he should do is Kill Bill Free. Everyone yeah. wants Kill Bill Free. Yeah. Mm. Mm. 
They couldn't. I haven't seen the other two. I can't. I can't. Can't say, say why, but you can't. I can't I say can why because it is a spoiler. But there is a bit at the end of the second one that leaves it open. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah. does it? Yeah. Is it like after title kind of gubbins? It's, it's during the credits. Hmm. Need to watch it again. I haven't seen it for years, man. But really, there's some in the credit to Kill Bill too. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's it's mm. not a scene or anything. It's just it's when a character's name comes up, like when the when they say right. they do, something comes up. Wait, I'll just search it on YouTube now. The thing is, though, if he if he's Very doing a, if he's got his next film plan, it's his last one. He's not going to do Kill Bill three anyway, is he? I hope he does. I hope he does. But he might I do. I about him saying he said he'd only ever make ten films. Yeah, he's only doing the uh, the movie critic of it. He's done. And he said he was done. This was his last one. I don't know how many he's made to be honest, but I know he counts Kill Bill. Yeah, he, nine, I think. Yes. he said he was going to do the perfect ten, and then he was putting. I read that a couple of weeks ago. So how many have he done up to now? Nine, nine I believe. Oh, well, there you go. Because he again, he wanted to make the perfect ten, and then. Stop there, which is admirable. It's admirable. You don't want to keep going for the rest of your life, you know. He's a bit of a fucking annoying prick, like. He's oh, very funny. Oh, he's not the big chin cunt. <laughs> <laughs> there was a there was a bit with him on Jonathan Ross that I thought was hysterical, because he said, "How come you don't have me in the intro anymore with the bubbles and that?" If you remember when he used to do that on Friday. Yeah. Night, yeah. And then he went, well, you made Death Proof, and I went off you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that, Jonathan Ross? Yeah. 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 It's one of my favourite ones. Yeah. Yeah. He's it's like, fucking mixed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know why I didn't. I don't know, I don't know what a car's all about. Yeah. Right? She's, t- she's wanking two invisible cocks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Tarantino comp- um, even considers it one of his perfect ten, though. Does he? I think it's his worst film, to be honest. I yeah, think I don't know if it's... yeah, it's my least favorite out of his films. Yeah, because I don't think it's bad. Just think it's... I, don't I don't think what mine is. I'm gonna. I don't like Jackie Brown. I love his. I, I... Oh, that's such a it's great. It's Samuel L. Jackson just calling everyone an N-word for three hours. It's not. I think, I think what fucking hit, Robert what De Niro is brilliant in it. I think yeah. what hurts Jackie Brown for me is it's it's the follow-up to Pulp Fiction. Mm. Mm. And it's the Robert De Niro is he he plays a fucktard far too well in that film. Doesn't he play a fucktard all the time? Like he plays a dickhead all the time. But he is amazing. Yeah, but in that he's like him. a real fucking dimwit, like proper scumbag, like jobless oh. piece of shit. And yeah, you, you watch him in Sleepers and he's a fucking priest. You watch him in Goodfellas, he's a gangster, he can do anything. He's a gay pirate go- and stardust. Yes, he is. He's a, a gay pirate. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I then think he did Dirty Grandpa. Yeah. Then he did Dirty Grandpa with Zach Efron. So, I, don't, I love a Bronx Tale, man. I fucking love that film. That's a great film, Bronx Tale. I love that. He's just, he's just a bus driver in that film. He's fucking brilliant in it. Oh, yeah. He, he directed it as well. I've never seen that. I've never seen the Fockers films either. Oh, uh, you, oh, you would those love Fockers movies. Oh, oh the Fockers films, films are great. Those Fockers I don't movies think are so I love which one, Andy. Bronx Tale. You'd fucking love that film. Oh, I've seen that. That was a long time ago. Oh, I love that film. Bronx Tale. So good. Oh, man, the Bronx Tale. The the guy out of it with him is in that, you know, I said the telly series I watched, Rosalie and Isles. Mm. Yeah. He's in that. He plays uh, the copper's dad. Yeah. There he is. Oh, Chaz. That's not him. Yeah, that's in there. <laughs> in the <laughs> Chaz Palminetti. Yeah. Chaz Palminetti. Yeah. I've so, I've only seen it once and it was years ago, but I remember I absolutely fucking oh, loved he it. Directed it as well. Yeah, Bronx Tale. Yeah. Mm. Did you know De Niro directed it? Yeah. 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 He did. I didn't even know he directed anything. And it's based on a play by him. It's it's an amazing film. Yeah. Can you can you get that on Blu-ray or anything? Yeah. 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 I've got a oh, 101 a Blu-ray Blu-ray DVD combo of it. Yeah. It's a 101 release, I think. Yeah. Is it? Hmm. Okay. Wasn't one of their box sets, was it? No, no it was just a standard release. <laughs> that, it was actually and... pretty cheap in H and B last year, about a fiver, I think. Oh, yeah. Amazon thirty quid. Whoa! I'll pay that for it. 
I think that's the American one. Well, Amazon that, Ripples, anyway. That, I've also um, seen a Christopher Walker like one once. Um, that was a New York one, the gangster one. King of New York. I've seen that once and I enjoyed that as well. Abel Ferraro did the Driller Killer made yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. That was a great That's film. an arrow, that. It was, yeah. 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 I'd like both of them. Yeah. Mid Midnight Run as well is a brilliant De Niro one as well. Oh, but Midnight Run's well. such a great yeah. film. No, I've definitely not seen that. Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, uh, so just one thing. Uh, a while ago on the Arrow Facebook page, uh, there was uh, announced a new Arrow film when it just showed you the top of the building. What? Oh, I saw that. Yeah. I haven't got a clue what it is. I think oh, it was that Robert De Niro one, New York or something. No, it's a cryptic clue in these new reveals that were announced today for some reason. It's got something to do with the I find reveals it, today. I find it weird some of the things they're putting on Arrow now. Wolf of Wall Street and Boyhood. I don't think they belong there. No, they I think, don't. I no, think don't. Boyhood belongs in Criterion. It's and it does have the a criteria Arrow anyway. Academy labels because they merged both of them into one. Uh, yeah, it just doesn't work. I can see Children of Men working like it did, but... Oh, I love Anything that film else? As well. That's Children of Men. Cool, that's bleak as fuck. Brilliant movie. I've got a good film though. Fuck okay. it. All I can smell the dog cheesy paws. It's shit breath. You smell it, cool. You stink. Blu-ray got Children of Men and Being John Malkovich. I need to get that Being John Malkovich. That looks pretty good. Mm. It is one of the most clever films I've ever seen. Like it's so fucking clever. Charlie Kaufman probably one of my favourite writers. Do you remember on about that bowling for Columbine the other night? Yes. yes. And I said Bowling's he did a nine eleven film that Michael Moore. Mm. Yes. Uh -huh. I just remember what it was called. It's called Fahrenheit nine eleven. Oh, I've heard of that, yeah. 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 Have you seen Bowling for Columbine? No. Fucking hell, it's a rough movie. Is it Is about, it about the Columbine shootings? Film? It's about, yeah, it's about the shootings and it's about how easily Drugs. Americans can get hold of guns. Ah, um, right. It's way too easy. It is way it's too easy. It, it, it have you seen Fahrenheit 9-11? I've not seen Fahrenheit 9-11, no. Watch that, because it, like, um, it goes on about some of the conspiracy things as well, and you think, fucking hell. I don't think it should be cons... The bowl, the bowl of the Columbine is, like, that movie's upsetting. Mm -hmm. You upset a lot of people making that one, actually. Yeah, because they don't want to face the truth. In fact, he yeah, upset a lot of people making Fahrenheit 9-11 as well. At the, at the beginning of it, the documentary. at the beginning of it, you, there's, there's a bank in America where it's, if you open an account with them, you get a free gun. What? What? Really? And yeah. that's real? And he, he well, goes, he goes there just to open the account and he comes out with the gun and he's like, yeah, I've just, just oh. all I've done is open an account. Oh, oh, no, that's, that's yeah. different to Nat West with the pig in and it's stuck in the yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's not yeah. a handgun he's got, it's a full on rifle. Like he comes out. Oh, and he, walks and he, says, like, he walks in and he says, Can I open the account where you get a free gun? And they say, Yeah. He just fills out the paperwork and he comes out and he's got the got hold of the gun. Why why? So you don't even have to wait for it, they just give you it there and then over the counter. They got oh, a bank with a stash of guns, just like, oh, here Trinity we go, here's your complimentary gun. Fuck you now. They'll do it one day, and some cunt will turn around and go, right, hands up, I want the fucking money. No, I go to Ikea and get the free pencil. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> that <laughs> is disturbing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. Fuck you now. What Did that bank no get wonder. robbed a lot, then? Fucking hell. No wonder what happens over there happens. Yeah. Mm. I don't know if it, I don't know if it, if he got the ammunition with it, but I know that's not. The well, point. I was gonna. I was thinking that. That's not the point. It's not the point. Yeah. Here's your free no, gun, and if you take out an insurance, we'll give you the ammunition. <laughs> what? What are you on the Take out some more insurance. We'll give you a fucking bomb. That's just crazy. There was a guy on the other night as well. He said he, he he's he's from America, lives in America. He doesn't want to live there anymore. He wants to move, emigrate. Yeah. yeah. He said, I don't feel safe there anymore. How sad yeah. is that when you're born and raised there? Yeah, it's sad. It's it, really is, sad. it is a worrying thing, definitely. 
Yeah. On a lighter note, Trump's in the deep shit, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, he's got arrested yeah, now. Yeah, yeah the bloody head, white head out cunt. What's he done? He, he, he paid a bronzy off or something. Yeah, he hired a hooker, dirty cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, well, the shit me. he's done in the past is now coming to fucking... Bite him on the ass. Yeah. Pick yeah, him up I the ass. Remember, yeah. I remember he... Uh, Tried to fuck a reporter or something at one point. To what is he tried country. to fuck? <laughs> He's not even human, is he? The ugly bastard. I wouldn't shag him for all the fucking money in the world. No. Oh he's, no, he's a, he's a strange one. He is that a one? Yeah, he's done some that's, weird. That's very thing. polite. He looks yeah. like his, he looks like his dad shagged a what's it? Dad <laughs> <laughs> shagged a what's it? <laughs> fuck you, no. That's offensive to what's it? Oh, oh, and he's got he's got his breath as hot as a dragon's ring. Oh, <laughs> I nearly fucking fell out of bed the night he said that. <laughs> oh wow. But it is it is scary how this world is working, especially in America. Yeah, it is. Right now, it's, yeah, uh, it's mad. Right. It's bad. And the, the 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 thing is there's a lot of Americans who are against the fucking guns. I know. There's that's a that's lot a of sad Americans thing. who want them gone. Um, they want to stop it. I think didn't the Biden bloke who's in now want to stop it, but they couldn't stop it. Yeah, the thing is, is that people will blame it on their constitutional rights because in the Fifth Amendment is part of their rights to own, uh, to brandish a weapon. Plus, people use it for hunting and shit, but it's not the point. You can't... People are using it for malicious intent and people are just using it to, I don't know, fuck it's, up it's, this world. It's dangerous it's, how easily you can obtain a gun there. It's yeah, it's dangerous. Yeah. Very dangerous. Mm. Um, like I watched um, a Sidemen video where they were in America, like England's biggest UK YouTube group, and then they were like, "You can literally go to Walmart and get a gun." They were hmm. going, like they had like. Yeah, I've heard it's easy as buying a fucking sandwich over there. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. It is. Oh, VLT and a can of coke. Uh, I'll have a fucking rifle to go with it, please. Yeah. <laughs> and the crazy thing is, the crazy thing is, fucking over there, Kinder Eggs are banned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yep. Why? Because of choking hazards or something. You can't. It? You can't have a toy in a food product. You can't. No. Conceal but you can just throw the gun in Dangerous. But here you go, take this home and blow your fucking brains out. Oh give, my you, god. You can give a five-year-old an Uzi. Yeah. Get over here, yeah. most people know what well, I'm saying. Fucking no, if you want a gun, you have to go on the dark web over there. You just nip to the fucking American version of Greg's. You do, hmm? yeah. Uh, Pop in the, like... the American version of Tesco, get a BLT and an AK 47. Yes, have his fucking Tesco in, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, it, does, yeah. it wouldn't like... be a stream without a Tesco reference. <laughs> you want a better quality one, or you go to their MS? Oh, yeah, yeah, they'd give you the free ammunition there. I just, I Move just on, Scott, that... before we set our fucking wrists. Okay. Yeah, it's just getting really fucking depressing hell. now, isn't it's it? It's getting very <laughs> political, isn't it? It's... Yeah. Well, yeah. it's because I mentioned the fucking two Michael Noah films. Now we're already Next up on, on politics, politics Weekly. Yeah. Fucking hell. He's a political guy. <laughs> Doctor Spartan. Oh, nice. The Doctor Spartan. Oh. It's Coronation Street. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Yeah. Yeah, Coronation Street. Always get what you say, Josh? Josh? Coronation Street's here. You know, growl. Saying what? Hello. He said he said that, but yeah. He's put some other comments as well, but he's put that as well. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Um, just so to, uh, he's put that oh, and also hi to everyone else. Did they not? Hey, Carol. He hasn't said anything about it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and he says any fun plans for this weekend? Yeah, we're going to suck each other off. No. <laughs> Are we? I, I was going to say, I, that wasn't part of the deal for me. I've got plans. I never agreed to that. You're not involved. I'm on about us six. Uh, <laughs> crack on. We're, we're going to do a human centipede on each other's willies. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. He's done. Nice. I know, that that. Tune in Wednesday to find out how it went. <laughs> what he's got, did you say? I said tune in, tune in Wednesday to find out how it went. <laughs> Guess who got the big cheesy one? 
Yeah. Yeah. Whoever's got the white rim around their lips. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. oh. 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 hands up! We've got the Philadelphia bread. Oh. That's not oh. the time the milky's just down. <laughs> oh. oh, he's oh, fucked up again, look. Yeah. I think he's run to <laughs> the bathroom to throw up. <laughs> No, he's gone to You're try leaving it out. He's going to cancel the weekend plans. <laughs> he'll come back oh. this face. He'll have the, he'll have the touch. When he comes back this face. <laughs> yeah, he's going oh, to he try it out. He'll fucking die. <laughs> Is he back? Bang, Graham. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, my Did... fucking Lord. Did you like that, Jamie? <laughs> <laughs> that was worth the way. I just had a sip of milk last all I did. Gosh, you did. <laughs> That's an allegory for other shit. Oh. It had to be done. Oh. Did it? Even I wouldn't have fucking though. thought of that one. That was very good, though. I like that. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> I wouldn't care. Andy went as a joke. I'd watch him come back with the fucking thing around his mouth. And he fucking he did. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I didn't see that one coming. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, be on Wednesday stream now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, stop it. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got to catch my fucking breath. <laughs> That's trying to fucking kill me, I swear to God. Mm. <laughs> I've lost, sorry everyone, I've lost where I am in the comments. I don't think you want to continue I'm not surprised. Them... It's all that talk of human centipede. Oh. It's got What's a lot of them about to... shootings now. Oh. Like, oh, I'll skip them. Have we got to actually start? Should we make this last comment of the night, everyone? Yeah. Well, yeah. Mm. Cool. Uh, we got to actually start streaming again soon. Good uh, Kevin Bacon film. Great question. Um, oh. Tremors. Tremors. R.I.P.D. Oh, no. Tremors. I don't know. Friday the 13th. They awesome. slash them. First class. Death sentence. I was going to say death one. sentence. And another good one. Tremors and cop car. Cop car. Cop car. Cop. <laughs> Oh, I tried carefully to pronounce it very slowly so it didn't sound like cock car. It was cock. And also, and yes, cock. I'm being serious, footloose. Yeah, that's all right. I fucking love it. Cockpit. Uh, oh, pardon me. What are you on about a cockpit for? Cesspit. Brad Pitt. Fish clit. Clit pit. <laughs> Fish clit. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh, What's your favourite one, Josh? What the? Uh, was that? He, his performance in the uh, EE adverts before every film I watch. Oh, oh he's annoying no. cunt in that. He yeah, is. No, I, like I, him, I need uh, the TV every time he comes on with those fucking adverts. Oh, Jesus, I hate it. Is Black Liner's good? No. Yeah. Yes, the original like is, it. yeah. The original one's good. I've got yeah. it, I've got oh, it, it but one? I've got the new one as well. But the new one is just basically exactly the same premise as the first. Don't bother one, with the it? new one, Jamie. Watch the original. I've got got it, so. I saw the original years ago, and I do remember I quite enjoyed it actually. Oh, it's right. a good cast. It's got oh, even though I can't know much about it, but I do remember I really did enjoy it. But I've never bought it for some reason. Uh, I guess, it, yeah, X Men Fast Man, 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 Great film. Houston, we have a problem. And Sleepers. He's fucking brilliant in oh, Sleepers. Yeah. He's good in that. So and is Robert De Niro. And Wild Things, of course. Oh, yeah. oh shit, yeah! <laughs> Trust you to remember the wank fodder. <laughs> is, that the one with De- is that the one with Denise Richards? And, <gasps> yes. Uh, I think I got one. Yes. I got one. I got one. I got one. Uh, and what, Matt Dillon? Yes. Yes. 
I haven't watched it. I need to know. <laughs> Patriots Day, I'd say. Oh, well, good choice, Josh. A- another good one. one. He's really literally in it for a blink and you miss it role, playing trains and automobiles in the opening. Yes, yeah. he is. He's the one racing him, and he's for the taxi. Yeah. Yeah, that's funny, that scene. He's in a lot of things. I love that film. He's in the following. Oh, yeah, 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 isn't he? I think, yeah. Is that uh, Chris Renaudin's first film? I think. Uh, right. No, no, the following, yeah. The following, yeah, but Kevin Bacon did a TV series Dublin. called Following. Yeah. Look at the name of this teleprogram he's in. Following. following. No. Zoom in. You can't zoom in. I know you can't. Anyway, there it is. That's the name of a program he's in. What is it? Love I Dick. Dick. I love Dick, yeah. I've heard it's gone off, there it is. Oh, you go can, fuck your mum. You can use technology, you know. What's bastard. it called? <laughs> I love yeah, that one. I'm not saying that. Dick. So you can go, <laughs> do you? Yeah. Say it, say it. I know. It's yeah. dark when I got the eye. Love out. <laughs> <laughs> It's, Jamie, it's called I Love Dick. That's what it's oh, called. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> he was also in She's Having a Baby. What's my call it? Yeah. John Hughes film. He's an X-Men fan. She's having a burger. I wish I was. I'm starving. And he's also in that um, Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special. He's quite fun in that. Oh, yeah, he is. They're dropping like fucking flies. Hello. So, I'm back. I was just checking something. Hey. Oh, What's he looking at? Because he's a pussy magnet. Oh. Oh, you just had to all fucking come back now. I show the That's pussy the magnet. The longest <laughs> last comment of the night. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And um, with all that being said, that'll be it for um, this um, week's stream. Thank you to everyone for your amazing comments. I really do appreciate it as always. Really enjoyed tonight. And um, thank you all for joining me tonight as well. I really do appreciate it mm-hmm. as always. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Thank Scott. you for really having us back it. again. And me. No worries. Cheers, Scott. And, uh, and, and uh, with... Scott Brock, my stream virginity. And he said it because I know he goes dead quiet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet a uh, true action star of the day has probably had more action than us. He's probably on a wank. <laughs> I dread to think what he's been up to. I don't even to want to think what he's been up no. to. <laughs> oh, no. no. Did he think of asking his wife's friend to try and make up to her? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I'm so sorry. Chloric <laughs> irrigation. Probably... What the fuck you on about? <laughs> 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 Colonic Nigel, irrigation. What... That's what the mum said. You're what the fuck? She's watching. She's she not watching what... this issue. Yeah, she said that's what your action star and his wife needs: chloric irrigation. <laughs> oh, dearly <laughs> lord! <laughs> Insert the tape <laughs> when. <laughs> it's it's finger blasting the tape when. Yeah. yeah. It's giving oh. it a tickle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Sue Ball gone to bed. Sue Ball. He's going to call it Charlie. (laughs) (laughs) Charlie the tapeworm. Charlie the tapeworm. (laughs) Factory. (laughs) (laughs) Jamie, what the fuck? Come on, show him up. Chocolate factory. (laughs) (laughs) I'm so confused. (laughs) Before we um, end the stream, um, don't forget to check everyone's uh, links in the description down below because they all have amazing channels. Oh, thank you very much, sir. As does your good self. No worries. Thank you, Nigel. And uh, with all that being said, bye, everyone. Oh, Bye. Oh, yeah, we've got to get our shit in gear. Shy. 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 Burgers and chips. <laughs> <laughs>